Hello friends, and welcome to High Rollers D&D, the Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition campaign here on the Yogscast Twitch, also on High Rollers D&D if you're watching over there. Welcome! I am your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes, <laughs> and joining me this week, why are you laughing? I am Joining me this week, Rhiannon. Hello. Chris Trot. Hello. Kim. Hi. On the other side, Tom <laughs> and Katie. Hi. We've got the whole team here. We're ready to play some Dungeons. Dungeons Dungeons and Dragons. But first, a couple of quick things. Ooh. First of all of which is a big thank you to our sponsor, D&D Beyond. Woo! Thank you. D&D Beyond, if you've not heard of it, if you've never checked it out before, it's the official Dungeons and Dragons tool set. It is amazing. We use it all. We've got our characters on iPads. We use the campaign management so that I can update with magic items. I can check their money. can make sure that they're to taking off make stuff sure that they that need to. Make sure that they're being honest. That they're cheating. Um, but also I can add custom items, can add custom classes, can add custom everything. Um, it's really, really cool. Just released on Thursday night. There's two brand new things on D&D Beyond which you can go and pick up. You've got the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica and Dungeon of the Mad Why Mage. Why is the Guildmaster's one? So Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica is a Magic Gathering setting which has been turned into an official Dungeons oh, cool. and Dragons product. So if you're a big fan of Magic the Gathering and the new Ravnica uh, pack, you can play D&D campaigns in it. Did you do something on the Dungeon of the Mad Mage recently? Dungeon of the Mad Mage is the follow-on to Dragon Heist, which we're playing in Rogue's mm. Gambit, which mm. is our Monday campaign Sweet. over on uh, the Dungeons & Dragons Twitch channel. Damn. Well, so you take that, that one off as well. Um, really, really cool. Check it out on D&D Beyond. You can pick it up there. If, you've, if you want to get into D&D and you don't own any of the books, D&D Beyond is genuinely one of the best things, ways that you can get in it. You can buy the books. I've got a bunch of friends so who have just picked up um, the books on there, they highly recommend it. It's character build is really good, it makes making characters super easy. Check it out and we love you, thank you so much for the support. D and D Beyond. Yes. yes! Also, we have several new pieces of merch over on our merch store. Store.yogscast.com, search under High Rollers. Uh, we've got tote bags. Tote, mm -hmm. amazing tote bags! We've got a 2019 oh. calendar <laughs> up for pre-order. Wow. Here's the tote bag. And um, we also have a calendar up for pre-order, which has got some amazing artwork. Never really? before from, seen. Yeah. So good. Uh, Bespoke. From our community. And we also have plastic dice sets. I think we're sold out of everyone's dice sets, but yep, we've got some plastic ones. We've got some plastic um, ones. We do have things in the works, I will we say that. We have things in the works. T-shirts. Um, T-shirts. We, we still love these ones. We've got hoodies. And something really cool that will be coming soon. If you were at MCM, you will have seen that we had an exclusive poster. Unfortunately, because uh, our Saturday signing got cancelled, we still have quite a lot of these left. So what we want to do is, because we didn't get to offer these to the people who came to meet us on Saturday, we want to put them on the store. They will all be signed by everybody. Everybody, finish it off, Mark. I'm going to sign it right now. Oh um, my god. They'll be signed by all of us, my including puppy. Rhiannon. And we're going to put these on the store. Uh, so keep an eye on our Twitter account if you want to get your hands on a fully signed High Rollers poster. Mm. And, and they're awesome. If you use the code High Rollers nice. um, at the checkout, you get a 10% discount on everything what? at the Yogscast store. You can't store. possibly be everything. 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 So it doesn't just have to be High Rollers merch. Um, but yeah, you'll get you 10% buy, discount. So use amazing Yogscast hoodies. You mm -hmm. can buy new Flux Body stuff. You can buy Hat Film stuff. Doesn't matter what you buy. If you use the code High Rollers, you get the money off, off and it supports us as well. That's yeah. the thing to mention is it does go to us. So use the code. If you're on High Rollers D and D on Twitch right now, refresh and you'll have the sweet D and D Beyond overlay Ooh. Yeah, it's activated. Phone back. It's there. It's I smashed it. Yeah, no, I smashed that. <laughs> um, cool. <coughs> Other thing is on Friday we did a bit of a bonus stream. Um, you might not have been aware of it. We tried to tweet out as much as possible, but we did a stream in Spectaculars, yeah. which is a superhero <laughs> RPG by Ronnie Thompson, who made Dust City Outlaws. We had a lot of fun playing it. It was uh, Tom, Trot, Rhiannon, and Lydia, Squid Gaming, joined us. Um, we played that, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. That should be available as a VOD, and it will go up on YouTube uh, hopefully tomorrow. So yeah, you can watch that. It was a really good laugh. We it enjoyed fun. it. It was yeah, very good. It was yeah. very, very fun. And we're hoping to do more stuff like that. So make sure not only are you, you following the High Rollers D&D Twitch channel, <laughs> but also if you've got a sub going spare, why not throw it on the High Rollers D&D Twitch channel? You get sweet emotes. If you've got Amazon notes. Prime, don't forget you get a free Twitch monthly subscription with Amazon Prime as well. A um, couple of other things, don't forget we have our Discord Reddit, you can go and join the community there. We have fan art, we've just put a fan art video up on Saturday, um, so check that out on our YouTube channel as well. If you've got fan art you want to send us to, what is that email, Chris Trot? Highrollersdnd at gmail.com. Please send it in so that we get your consent to use it in the videos. Boom! 
podcast. Don't forget they go, those go out Monday, Thursday, and when does Road to Gambit go out? Friday. Friday. So we got all the podcasts. You can check that out on all your podcasting services. Please do make sure to review us, like us, give us the thumbs up or five stars or whatever it happens to be. Yes. Because it does massively, massively help. And for all of those, High Rollers D&D is what you're searching for. Just everywhere. High Rollers D&D. D&D. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, podcast, Reddit, everything. Discord, Reddit, Discord. Everything. Instagram. iTunes. Instagram. Instagram. Mice. We yeah. do have Instagram, oh. yeah. We don't uh, Facebook. do it very much. Facebook. Have it. Check it out. Okay. Uh, obviously, community is great. We love it when we see fans interacting and making fan things like fan art and stuff yes. like that. So check all that out. And with that, I think that is everything. So and let's play the Aerobis intro video. Wow. <laughs> We're back! <laughs> We're waiting on us there. Welcome to Erois, the D&D campaign. A quick recap on what happened last week. The party were exploring an elven ruin called Rose Hall, where they encountered several elven spirits that sapped away their life force. Uh, they, Whilst exploring the town, they uncovered a few treasures, but didn't get far before they met Selic Zostro, um, uh, an ex-paladin of Siaska who had now become undead and was trying to protect the place, uh, fearing that mortals would get themselves killed, um, embroiling Accurate. themselves in the ghostly affairs of the ruin itself. He warned you about Vessel Venna, who is an elven princess who was exiled long ago for experimenting with planar magic. You attempted to rest, more spirits arrived, and the party had a very very dangerous encounter with these spirits, with Lucius almost dying and Quill not being far off either. Yeah, holy crap. Uh, the party decided it was time to leave and that the the prize, the prizes within the, the hall of the ruin itself were not worth the cost of death. However, as they attempted to leave, the ghost of Princess Vesselvena herself appeared, mistook Lucius for her missing prince, um, and uh, Nova <laughs> and Ayla convinced her that they were there to learn and to oh, yeah. study. Uh, the party, fearing what might happen if left uh, in Vessel Venna's hands, decided to escape. You broke Lucius and the others out by climbing and escaping through the window. Um, and you took a long rest just off the, on, uh, off the road, far from the ruin itself, but awoke to a unearthly howling rage mm. emanating mm-hmm. from the ruins themselves. Had we been in the radius, we would have died. Yes. yes. Yeah. If you you fear that if you had been close enough, the scream could have taken your very soul. But that is not where you are. Instead, you find yourselves at a very cold, very uncomfortable camp at the side of the road. Most of you don't have proper camping equipment, so you find yourselves God stiff, sore, <laughs> cold, chilled all the way to the bone. Um, there is a light rain, um, and the weather itself. Um, is uh, unpleasant. It's windy, it's wet, winter is very much here, the sun uh, rises late um, and you don't have much, you don't have too long of daylight ahead. But you had made plans to follow the northern road, also known as the Golden Road, (laughs) to the city of Goldthrone, um, the largest settlement on the continent of Savona, which is where you uh, are. Um, Which you know, thanks to Arvald Dagus, your kind of dwarven travelling companion, is about seven days or so travel. Um, on foot, it may be okay. slightly longer. Um, uh, the road itself curls all the way around the Iron Wheel, a large ancient forest um, which seems to have some 
strange elements, wood and creatures that are infused with uh, the iron that is uh, kind of the iron veins that are spread throughout the land. Um, far beyond those, you can see the auric peaks, these kind of almost gold, golden mountains. They're kind of, uh, you know, gray brown, but streaked with these rivers of gold, which is more like a, a soil uh, coloration. Um, that stretches up along the western side of the continent <laughs> uh, where Gold Throne is nestled. Okay. And what time is it? It is morning, early morning. Okay. Bam. Nice. You wake to, yeah, feeling cold, wet. You don't have tents. You've been sleeping out in the rain as best as you can. Um, it's unpleasant. Stay, sleeping more like this will become a, a pretty big hindrance. It will start to sap your strength and start to make you even more miserable. I got a bed roll. Am I good? You have a bed roll. You are better, but okay. without a thing like a tent, without anything to sleep in, you've Fantastic. literally been sleeping out in the rain. You are tougher than most. Um, I'd say that pr probably uh, out of everybody, I think, Nova, you've got a pretty good constitution as well, don't you? Plus three. And Sentry, yours is... Plus two. Plus two, but you're a, you're a guardian, yeah. you're a construct. So I think the three ladies of the team are certainly faring better than Quill and Lucius. <laughs> yeah. Arvel seems more used to it, but Valor is shivering, and you can see that she's oh, not... Oh, no, I forgot about Valor. Um, she doesn't have a cloak. She's literally just kind of got, like, loose clothing. Um, she now, ha now has some leather armor, but she doesn't have a cloak. She doesn't have a bedroll. She doesn't have pretty much anything. And so she's just been huddled, um, shivering in, in the wet. Um, so I guess, would I know, as a messenger, would I know how long, uh, how far away Gold Throne is from Yeah, you've Earth? studied. I think, um, it's been a, give me, um, give me a quick check. Just give me a, um, uh, plus your intelligence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, six. <laughs> six? I mean, you've studied lots of parts of the world, but I think certainly when you were, where you took your test and things like that, that was another continent, you took that on Voxar. Yeah. So you've travelled a long way. You've read up about Gold Throne and you think, yeah, about a week, maybe longer on foot. Um, depends on how much, how slow you go, how fast you travel. Mm. Um, well, I guess I would have, at, at that point, I would have flown everywhere rather than walked. It's very different as well, yeah. And you can um, go as the crow flies, quite literally. Are there crows in this world? There are crows. Cool. I like when these questions come up and we have to go, Mark, are there chinchillas in your world? <laughs> sure. There could be. There could be. Should we assume most woodland animals are... Most woodland animals exist. Uh, generally, there are continent... <gasps> are there uh, sloths? Are there sloths? Not on Savona. So, it's um, quite a tropical... We need to find them immediately. <laughs> <laughs> are there noodles? New quests. Uh, find the sloth. <laughs> there would probably not really be noodles Never noodles. Savona. Um, it wouldn't be the kind of dish they make here. Not this planet. I'm out. You know the, where there was noodles? Solwyn. I don't think that's a fact. I, I would say, no, but you've read up a little bit about the world. I think you're quite intelligent. You're quite studious. Oh, you. um, <laughs> there is, there's the continent of Zifena, which, uh, yeah, it tends to be a bit stranger. Like, they have different cuisines and things like that. Noodles there. are strange. strange. They're strange. <laughs> and only noodle, strange people eat noodle them. Noodle is a strange dish to people <laughs> of Savona. Uh, it's a strange, strange dish. But then also most of the continents have strange food. Suvona is the most Western medieval out of everything. Um, mm. Most of the thing, most of the food here is wheat and grain, uh, vegetables like Dumplings. earth vegetables, like potatoes, that sort of thing. Very little fruit on Suvona. Um, it's not, you know, apples is probably the most common thing, but there's no exotic fruits huh. here. You definitely don't, uh, there's not really... Lucius probably fruits. has them, though, in, maybe in the Sky the Cities. Sky they have stuff like that? Sky Cities have very controlled um, ecosystems. So they, because they only have a certain amount of land, they have to grow whatever they can at certain altitudes and things like that. Um, certain cities, Gusthaven, for example, has a big chunk of land that kind of was risen up with the city, which houses a freshwater lake. And because of that, they can grow more unusual things there. They can grow things like grapes with the fertile land. Um, what a law dump. Law dump. <laughs> Look, you ask me questions, I'm going to answer. I didn't ask shit. I just want to know about sloths. <laughs> sloths. I think sloths. Sloths is a good one. Yeah. Where would sloths be? In the sky. <gasps> Sky space sloths. They're sloths. from space. space <laughs> they're little uh, aliens. They're on, a, on another plane like, entirely. <laughs> quite floating jungle. around. <laughs> hmm. Zephena is probably the best sloths. Sloth astronauts. Zephena and Voxar. Sloth astronauts. What Lucius is vacantly thinking about. Where would sloths Drenched. Yeah. I wonder what kind of animals there are. <laughs> 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 so yeah. 
Um, Arvel is packing up his gear, packing away his cooking supplies. Arvel, do you know if there's any um, smaller settlements in between? Roofs? And, hmm? Beds? Well, yeah, exactly. Comfort? Oh, yeah, sure. Luxury? Yeah. I mean, uh, I know this road pretty well. Um, I if you all have any questions about what's along the way, I can tell you. Uh, are there any? Yeah, of course, yeah. There's uh, well, The first one we're going to go past is Ironwick. Okay. Uh, that's a small settlement just on the edge of the Rosewater Lake. Oh, let's, I think we were close to there. Let's go there now. Um, well, that's our next stop. We'll probably stop there. I mean, we don't have to. Y'all bought No, we stopped there. But... It's more that Val is shivering violently. Yeah. And I don't want to be responsible for the death of a small child. Well, it's only about a day and a half's travel, so we'll reach it day by... Day and a half? Yeah, about that. Another night. No. Uh, beyond that, there's Kaylee's Rest. Uh, that's a pretty big settlement here in Savona. So that's the next biggest settlement we'll find until we reach Gold Throne, pretty much. Okay. Um, How far is that one? That's about two days away out of Ironwick, so... Okay, uh, so Ironwick it is. Sure. Do you know... Let's head for that. When we get to there's Ironwick... Of, go on. Uh, well, I mean, uh, for starters, we all need some outside camping equipment. Mm -hmm. And in big furs. And, and big... Furs as well. Um, Very fashionable this time of year. Fashionable big furs. Mm -hmm. Do they have horses, wagons, anything like that? It's not a huge town. Uh, so Ironwick it was kind of set up a few, you know, maybe a few decades ago, um, and they so they thought it would be a profitable town, but the iron in the land ran dry pretty quick. Oh. So it's mainly reliant on the lake itself. So. It's not a huge town, but they should have a few horses. Not, probably not one for every single one of us, but maybe enough that we could uh, probably get a wagon, hitch a couple of horses to that, and then that way at least we have something to cover our heads and uh, take, take the energy out of the Do you think they'll have away. some designer tailors there? Things like no, that? nope. No? Uh, the, best, the, whole, the best you've got, Lucius, is Kaylee's Rest. That'll be the biggest settlement outside of Gold Throne here in Savona. What do you that? need exactly? I'm well, I'm thinking... Curious. This time of year, obviously, I need to factor in the colors of my eyes. They can't have clashing colors. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking like white furs. That's going to get dirty golden. real quick out here. You might get a few gray wolf uh, skins. Gray wolf, that sounds, oh, that sounds savage. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, I kind of want the lowland look. Cowhide? Well, <clears throat> no, what? You mean leather? Well, yeah, but I mean. <laughs> I just wanted to throw the word cow in there. <laughs> I got what you were going for. I know. Well, <laughs> there's try. plenty of strange stuff along the way as well. I mean, I know, I don't know if y'all want to just go straight to Gold Throne, but you all seem pretty keen on that Dwellin' Den. Uh, there's a few places like that along the way. There is? There's, I mean, an, old, uh, there's an old observatory, used to be a temple to Siaska called ooh. the Star Mirror. Uh, that's uh, Mirrors, follow the man. river away from Ironwick. Um, there's also the, the Shrine of the Sun Pool. It's a big temple to Palador. That's up near Gold Throne. Uh, let's see. As long as it's not a mirror that takes you to another plane of existence, like whatever she was doing. An observatory, so. though. Was yeah. that? It was, well, it was used as a... It's kind of a mixture of a temple and observatory. Where is it? Well, when we get to Ironwick, there's a small river called the Silverthorn that runs into the Rosewater Lake. You just follow that to the west, up to the mountains. It is a bit of a trek out of our way, though. That's the only thing. It's about four days trek out the way. That's a lot of trek out the way. Yeah. What were they called again, sorry? The, the two places. places. The two places, yeah. Uh, the Star Mirror and Shrine of the Sun Pool. Do you think you could learn some interesting things there? Well, you know, Probably. it's said... It's you. Why am I asking you? You can learn interesting things everywhere, Ayla. Well, I'm learning goes. interesting things now. No. Okay. <laughs> no, no, please, I will carry on. I was going to say, the story goes, that at the Star Mirror, there's a seeress, a prophetess, that can uh, tell you answers to things that you need to know. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. Like where the local fashion is. Uh, yes. yes. Or where Solvan is. Or why Quill has no wing anymore. I yes, know all very purpose. important questions. And oh, that too, yeah. Um, I mean, so I don't on. understand this whole fashion current, like, it was a very A lot of people sudden... don't get fashion, honestly, but it's a very, you have to get into it to really get it. But you really want the lowland it. look, yeah? Yes, yes, to okay. take back with me, obviously, I'm going to look so unique. Okay, because you've got gems all over your outfit, and that's literally yes, yes. the opposite. It's kind of going out of fashion, but it's my thing, so. It's going out of fashion, so when you're done with it, 
Can I have it? Yes, I suppose. Yeah. Thank you. That's a lot. Of money. I mean, some the gems are just falling off at this point. I kind of use but it I for color, them. but uh, okay. so there will be we, color we in my new. We can sell them. Ah. Uh, so while you're having this very interesting discussion, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're just the can we, can rain we? is descending down. <laughs> <around>. uh, <laughs> still ready. Fitting around. Keep going. Finish packing this thing. Like Sentry, you look over and see Vala just kind of like holding herself as best she can, and just a. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and like she just wipes her nose, and you can see she's like shivering a little as they're having this conversation. Can I give her my cloak and just wrap yeah, her up like a, like a little bundle? Yeah, you just like, like a little wrap around. She's a, a little burrito. burrito. And yeah. she just kind of like nods her thanks. Oh, thanks, Sentry. I tell you what, Bella. A really cute thing right now is to have a. Wait, is this a conversation we can have on the way? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> we should probably start this. walking. Like, yeah. That's, you didn't tell me that you were doing. We this. are walking while we were bantering. Yeah. Okay. To right. keep spirits up. Excellent. I've pulled like a scroll out of a, uh, I guess the tube I have on my. Yeah. A scroll case. Like a scroll case. A tube. A tube. <laughs> <laughs> I use my tube. 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 <laughs> um, a Pringalis tube. City of Glass, can I ask about that? What is the City of Glass? You ask Arthur. Uh, well, I'm, I suppose, would I know it? Would Quill know the City of Glass? History check? I think you've made a check on this before. Oh, have I? We'll, we'll roll it again, just in case. Uh, history, history, where is my history? Which one's history 13? You don't necessarily remember a historical place called the City of Glass, but you do know that in the aftermath of the Sundering, there was a lot of errant magic and divine power that was kind of just still remnant in the world. Mm -hmm. And there's always strange tales about, you know, cities or towns being turned to glass or strange towers appearing out of nowhere or oh. being shaped from the land. Um, you're not quite sure whether, yeah, it's a historical place. It could also, looking at the way that your kind of clue has been written, it, it could be a bit of a metaphor for somewhere as well. Like maybe it's not a city made of glass, but maybe something that, you know, made glass or... You know, yeah. Somewhere that glass was a very prominent feature of. Or just a um, shiny, shiny place. Or just it's somewhere really, shiny. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, yeah, not, not something you really know 100%, unfortunately. Okay. In that case, I will ask Arvel, um, do, you, do you know what this city of glass is? Is that Gold Throne? Is that any of these places you've described? Not anywhere here on Savona, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, never heard of a place like that. Okay. Sorry, Quill. Well, that's a future problem. I mean, I mean, the only, the oldest place, and I've not, I've, I went there once as a boy. There's a place north of Goldthrone called Starstone, and it's an old city. It's real old. It's from, uh, from the founding. It's from the prime, the age of the prime races. Okay. Uh, but, I mean, I don't think that's got anything to do with glass. Uh, it's more of a, just an old city full of old things and old buildings. Hmm. Do you like old things, really? New, current. <laughs> okay. Fresh. Well, Gold Throne's got plenty of that. Yes. So. And the sorcery uh, tournaments. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, yes. Yeah. I imagine you'll be quite interested in those. Also, how, does, how do you deal with this um, ongoing onslaught of oppressive water that <laughs> just bears down on your souls every day? He's talking he about gets his hat and he's like, you get yourself a good hat and a good coat. Do you, Arvul, do you really think it would go? I don't care. Right. But you want to know how you deal with the rain? Good hat, good coat, good boots. It's probably a spell or something. Like also, that. just getting over it. Just. You can't get over rain. Toughening up, you it's know. Far a too bit. high. You can get functional fashion. It's good for you. Hmm? It'll toughen you up. It's fine. No, it seems to be softening me and my hair. Very damp. Do you want to borrow my barrier ring? Yes. That would work. It's a shield. So. Yes. Lots. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> Very short time, but it's okay. We'll be at Armwick soon, right? Uh, I, I think a, we're halfway I there. Mean, a day. This has been a few hours of traveling along the road. So anyway, Having these loud conversations as you journey down this kind of very dirt, it's, it's like a dirt path. It's, it's a road, it's not like a paved road. This is a worn, muddy path at best. Should all my heels. And it's right on the edge of the Ironwield Forest. So constantly on your uh, left hand side as you're traveling north is this very dark, looming, giant forest. And beyond that is the mountains rising up into the air. Okay. So when we were in Rose Hall, mm. actual village Rose Hall, mm. um, there was the wagons that were being raided that we solved 
sort of by dealing with Brookstone. Are there any, as we're going down the road, I know we're not too far away out of Rose Hall now, but have we seen any like... Other oh, travellers? Yeah, not yet, but you, I mean, you suspect, you would know that there will definitely be travellers on the road. Okay. Um, there could be merchants. I would say, Quill, you're also aware because of you being a messenger, you're kind of aware of the things like the dangers on roads. There's always the threat of banditry, and monsters like to camp and keep an eye out on roads because they tend to be full of fat, wealthy merchants or travellers to prey upon. Slim. Mm. So, uh, yeah, so roads are very expedient. They're much easier for travelling everywhere, but they can also be um, dangerous as well. The nice thing with travelling more civilised roads like this one is they're generally patrolled by the local authorities. Okay. Um, so the Harvest Guard, for example, would manage this road. It would be their responsibility to protect it. Hmm. Um, okay. So. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Ironwick, cool, cool, yes? Cool, 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 mm -hmm. cool. Ironwick. Sentry, have you Hello? considered um, just like painting yourself? Pa paint? Why would I paint myself? You know, just a change with the themes and uh, the vibrancy of like gold term for example you could really stand out i want to paint myself gold or different patterns and stripes and like roses things like that you could paint that on you i think she was made to look a certain way because this is the family that she represented yeah and this is it's like yeah it's like a clan in, yeah in yeah that way exactly. yes but you are you though right you can express yourself and then rub it off when you feel like you've changed and put another thingy on but, your face. But I'm proud of where I've come from. I'm proud of solving in my home. And That's I don't underneath, know why I'd want but it can be hidden that. by fashion. You know, I've, I've worked hard for, you know, a lot of the markings that I've bared. You know, these are all like medals, I guess, is what you'd have. What, the scars and the dents? Well, I've, all, I've had like, like the, all these patterns swirled through my armor and on my shield, like my but ranks. The Gusthaven fashion shows. They wouldn't like dents and things like that. And I'm thinking there's potential here. Uh, Are you trying to say that you want to put Sentry in a fashion imagine, show? Imagine. Imagine. Uh, You'd I... be the ultimate model. <laughs> Quite literally. You'd be a very specific model. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> put fur coats on you and things like that. Um, We'd earn a lot of money. Would we? I mean, he makes yes. a good point, actually. We could... You make you even like more intimidating as well. Instead of fashionable, it could give you like flames. Or I, I kind of like Sentry the way she is. I agree. She looks pretty. Yeah, but so it's still scary because she's, you know, made of armour and true. has an axe. Thank you, Valor. But imagine me in drab clothing. Wouldn't that be boring? I would really like to see it, actually. I mean, you I'm wouldn't really be able to cast most of your spells, for starters. Exactly. And then again, we've all got so many different colours, you could just siphon it off all of us, I That's suppose. That's true, too. Anyway, but are we at Ironwick now? <laughs> so, I mean, you guys can keep talking as much as you want to talk. Don't feel you have to fill dead air if you just say, like, yeah, we're just going to travel and we want to get to Ironwick. Then, then no, I think the good. next, like, ten sessions is going to be the day. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be all yet. So. Um, you, as this, you're approaching sort of midday, um, the rain doesn't really stop, it's just drizzling the whole time. Uh, the, cl the clouds are overcast, it's dark and gloomy. It's England. Don't it's tell me it's very windy as well. Uh, it's quite windy. Oh, worst! Sentry, do your arms fatigue? <laughs> or can you kind of lock them in place? I don't, I don't fatigue like humans do, but the, like, the wood underneath me can shrivel and become weak if I get too cold or too hot. Would you mind awfully, and I know this is quite rude. Here we go. Oh, but could you provide a canopy with your shield and I'll walk under it? That's fine. I'm Me happy and to Valor help you. walk if under it. Makes it's you all more about comfortable. Valor. Then, then yes, I will, I will help you. Thank you so much. That's okay. I can see now why you were built to protect. <laughs> and also attack. Sometimes so you, attack. So, Sentry, you, you will be walking with your shield held above your head. Yeah. Okay. After about. I'm trying to think what would be reasonable here. You're 20 minutes. a warrior. I think 20 minutes. Yeah, that's mm. a good shout. You know, you're a warrior, you're tough, but after about 20 minutes, give me a constitution saving. <laughs> Okie dokie. Please drop it on him. Oh, on oh, that's a zero. Oh, that's no, a four. With the bad weather, you can already feel the wood kind of beginning to stiffen and oh, swell, yeah. and, and uh, it's getting harder to keep this shield held aloft. Um, and you just have to drop your arm and rest it uh, for a little I'm bit. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's fine. 
I'll get a hat. <laughs> this is a very big shield. <laughs> you, when it's you guys a really big shield. It's quite a big shield. <laughs> when do you guys want to try and stop for lunch? Are you going to stay out in the rainy road? I mean, the, the forest itself provides cover. It also has iron through. spiders in it. It does have iron <laughs> spiders. Don't think we forgot that. Of th mm. There are many other things it has as yeah. well. Those are just something that I think Arvel or one of the, somebody else told you Probably about. still got some wild elves in there it's too. It's got a lot of bad stuff in there. No sloths though. So. No sloths. Damn it! <laughs> iron sloths. Oh. There are iron, iron, oh my God. iron badges though. <laughs> They're just sloths but the iron armor. Badges. <laughs> iron badges, yeah. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Imagine dying to one of those. I suppose we could quickly stop for lunch. A little quick campfire, warm up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't recommend we start a fire. We no. don't need to do that till tonight. We want to keep trucking. We're going to have a stop a quick cold lunch and then on our way. Yep, I concur. Keep moving. I'm going to create dancing lights, but combine them all into an orange glow and try and make it look like the sun. <laughs> it, it creates an orange glow. No mm. heat, no warmth. But part of you is so eager for warmth that you can almost feel like it is, oh, it's lovely. <laughs> is it like an SAD light? <laughs> kind of, yeah. It just makes you feel like there's heat, but there isn't. Um, yeah, you stop for a quick lunch, you have your thing. You definitely hear out in the woods this expansive, ancient forest, and there is a strong smell of wet earth, of this kind of, yeah, like ionic, uh, smell in the air, that kind of, you know, like metallic, metallic smell uh, that you get, um, mm. but mixed in with leaves and foliage and you hear, you hear animals, you hear scuffling and scurrying out in the distance, you think you can hear like a, wolf and a wolf's howl, um, but nothing attacks you during your lunch, you kind of have a quick cold lunch of, of trail rations, you know, you're talking like nuts, jerkies, a little bit of bread, cornbread, Are we that marking sort of that thing. off? Uh, not yet, it'll be for the full day. Okay. Um, and then you carry on. It's around early evening when you come across the very edge. You start to see the Rosewater Lake itself. Now, you'd seen it in the distance, and this is a huge lake that expands for miles. Miles and miles and miles. It would probably take you, you know, a week if you walked around the whole thing. Wow. Right? This is huge, this, this yeah. lake. Um, and it stretches out for miles. Um, and you can see, you know, in the very faint distance, you can see what look like little sailing boats, like kind of like little pleasure boats and stuff like that out on the surface. Um, and what almost looks like a strange glow, as the night begins to fade in and the, the night gets darker and darker, there is this strange green glow that seems to come up from the bottom of the lake and kind of mirrors along oh, wow. the surface. Um, and you, it's almost in, a, in a, uh, a contrast to the cradle, which is this multicolored spectrum of light, like this aurora borealis, which is above the planet. Yeah. Um, and this green glow is, is deep within the, the, underneath the lake, and it kind of bubbles up to the surface and, and just reflects gently. Um, and you begin to see, and you're now kind of like following the, the wood on your left and the lake on your right as you're following this, this track along. Can we see, so across, can we see gold frame from where we are now? Or? No, 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 you can't. Okay. No. You just see the iron wheel <laughs> stretching <laughs> no, out. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> you can see that it does become quite hilly to the sort of northwest, um, but, and then the mountains. And you know that gold throne is vaguely in your northwest direction, but the iron wheel and these hills just block that kind of. So we've come out of the woods, heading east. I can show you. And now we're going north. Uh, so, this won't be vis very visible on the camera, but you've come out of uh, Rose Hall. So you're down here. This was the palace ruins. And you're now around about oh, So we've been here. skirting the edge. So okay. you're kind of skirting the edge of the Iron Wheel and the Heading lake. north. And then you can see Iron Wick uh, just there. But Gold Throne is up here, so the, the hills and the forest would block your, block mm. your sight a bit. Can Neato. I, can I, as Quill, have a copy of that? <laughs> yeah, would Quill know? Know? How much of this would you know? Because we did have a map and we were updating it, but okay, yeah. it's gone. So, yeah, because Quill had a map, didn't he? Yeah, he, he yeah. did. Yeah. So with all the, the information that Arvel gave you, yes. Um, for Savona, the other side of Savona, this side, yeah. pretend you okay. don't quite have that information. I mean, if you want to, I could just save it for like, if you give me one without the names yeah, on Yeah, I will do it at some point, yeah. I mean, I think I did give you one, but I need to sort it all out. I've got like the did big one, lose which it, I've not Tom? updated for a while. No, I've got it. I've got it still. Where is it? I don't know. 
Is it, but that was, was that not a very specific <laughs> original crash site area? Yeah, yeah. 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 I think that was, that was a very was small just, area. Um, I think we've already gone past that. I've got the bigger parchment one that you gave me the parchment for, and I've been slowly mapping that out, but I've not had time to update it recently. Hmm. So, uh, you get to the evening. Um, you haven't seen any travellers on the road, surprisingly, throughout the whole day of travelling. There doesn't seem to be any travellers coming south. Is that odd? or It does seem a little odd, yeah. It does seem strange. <laughs> that was Mark's. That was almost your... That is odd, isn't it, Tom Hazel? Yeah. So that, that was that was, voice. It was a genuine, like, yeah, it, does, it strikes you as strange that you haven't seen any travellers coming mm. south. No, um, uh, um, Fountain of knowledge and uh, hope and dreams. What is the glowing from the lake? Is that normal down here? Seems to be some kind of bioluminescence. What is that, what? Bioluminescence. Mm, I don't. It's a fancy Anyone? word. Oh, I just want to say that quick. Stop it. Virgin. Could as be used as a <laughs> Wrong world. <laughs> Wrong. Yeah, I mean, you, you... it could be a natural occurrence from the vegetation that is in the river, the lake, or it could even be maybe a creature is in there and uses it. The whole lake is to it the whole lake. Diversion. It's it's more from the centre of the lake. Um, oh, it doesn't or... quite stretch out to the farther shore that you're on. It seems to be more in the middle of the lake. There was a spooky old ghost back there, and there's more spooky here. That's Underwater. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yay! Boat, boat ghosts. Boat ghosts. Sunken Not boat a fan. No. ghosts. Not a Arvel fan. just shudders. Anything I is sure possible in this world. No boat ghosts. No. So you don't know what's down there at all? Or? No, I've, I've travelled this road a number of times. I've never seen the lake glow like that. Oh. Oh. So oh, that's probably a great not vegetation. Sign. I've never heard of anything like that in the Rosewater before. No, I... Mm. I don't know what that is. Could also be magic. Uh, I mean, sure. It could be an artifact, maybe, that's fallen in there. Uh -huh. I mean, you see Tiangong. Tiangong glows every it now and again. It would need to be a very path to radiate that much light. And they, they, keep in mind the size of this lake. Like, you can see it on the map. It is enormous. It's massive. So, Anything's for it to possible. create a light that's reaching up high enough, it would need to be giving off... Is it spanning the width of the lake? Cell. Not quite, It's but it's large. Whatever is causing this light is a very large source. Um, what about it's a there's, big spook. there's boats on the lake? There were during the day. Oh, they okay. seem to have now settled back in. Did they go over the glow? Um, no, they they went in before the glow started. So most boats oh, would sail out on the lake at night. Right. They mm. don't they don't drift around. The How about we appreciate it from a safe distance and continue to Ironwick? I agree. I guess we <laughs> can always we can always ask the folk in Ironwick what's going That's on. That's true. Like, yes. their, their whole business is the lake, so. True. Mm. They might know. Well, we'll still be right by the lake when we're in Ironwick, right? Yeah. So... Yeah. Can we see Ironwick from here? Can yeah, that be can. a lake? You can just about problem. see. It's not very big. You can see this very small town. Just as the light's beginning to fade, and I guess Quill would have the best job of this with his spyglass, which you never got back, actually. So no, I don't know my spyglass. So you're kind of squinting. Um, but you can see it's that there one is good eye. there's a number of like a cluster of small buildings, but not many of them. Um, but there are kind of very fancy looking buildings on the very edge of the lake, and then there's more kind of rustic, homely looking buildings as you get further inland. Ironwick looks lovely, from what I can see, <laughs> which is very little. I think this, this is the first time we've been on this road because we dipped into the, the ironwood. It's, it's the furthest you've been this far on it. Yes, yeah. you dipped into the ironwood, um, yeah. but you came out and then just came straight back. Mm. We're actually making progress. We're, uh, actually What's that? <laughs> going somewhere. We're actually going somewhere. Yeah. Um, well, wow. I reckon we'll be there by about just after midday tomorrow, so it's not far now. How, how do the people in Ironwick uh, feel about wild elves? <laughs> well, it's like most of Savona, you're going to get mixed opinions everywhere you go. A lot of folks lost people and farms and business to the wild elves, so a lot of folks ain't going to be too happy to see Ayla, but... I mean, I'm a delight. You sure are, gal. I think you uh, are. But the main thing is, is yeah, there's a lot of folk around here that have got deep prejudice. Uh, some folks, they won't mind. They'll be open. Um, Savona's always been a pretty open-minded as best as it can, but uh, there's, I can there's work a lot with of open-minded people, but also I'm kind of just used to this now, to be honest. Yeah. Fair. It's fair. Fact is, quite honestly, almost all of you might struggle a little bit. None of you are human, none of you are dwarves. I'm blue. <laughs> yeah, you're a stranger. That's the main thing. For most folks around here, they can be a bit wary of folks they don't know, so. It's fine. Well, yeah, for such a varied group of people as well. 
Dipper the Merciful. They're definitely a strange yes. group. Hmm. That's for sure. Me and Vala would probably be okay, but yeah, you might raise some eyebrows. Yeah. Anyway, try and get some sleep. Uh, who's going to be taking watch? I'll take watch. So you two. So yeah. one half, one half. Okay. Sure. Uh, who's taking first? I'll take first. You're going to take the first half. Okay. So you nestle in. Uh, there's like a small kind of couple of like, not valley, but like some hills that are just off the road and you kind of nestle in behind one of these hills trying to keep the wind off you, You're kind of using it as a natural windbreak. The rain doesn't stop, it continues mm -hmm. into the night. Um, and the night grows very, very quiet. You can hear the sounds of the iron wheel, this giant forest, all sorts of insects and animals, hooting of owls, uh, wolves, um, growling and rustling far in the distance. Um, birds beginning to quiet down, rodents scurrying around, but also the very gently lapping of the late waves against the shore. Um, even though you're far away, you can just hear them in the distance, this soft kind of uh, lapping of water. Why don't both of you make perception checks for me, please? That's not very good. That's an eight. Eight, eight as well. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh well. Okay. Sentry. <laughs> Ayla wakes you up and then gets some rest herself, um, going into her trance. It's around early hours of the morning. It's pitch black. Uh, the cradle kind of gives this jaint, uh, soft, you know, colour shifting glow to the world around it. The stars, the countless millions of stars above, uh, shine down gentle starlight. Um, when you see something approaching on the road, uh, you're just slightly off the road, but you're kind of keeping watch, and you can see a lone figure on a horse is making their way down, and they appear to be holding a lantern in one hand, and just, just this soft clopping of this enormous armoured war horse. Mm -hmm. And you can see the figure is dressed all in black plate mail, um, with a big hood over their head, ring and they're ring. just carrying Definitely this... Ring ring. this We're dead. Uh, lantern, this kind of silvered lantern which is casting a dull greenish glow as they just It's dead. And it just seems to be coming towards you. Okay. It's gonna pass right by your camp on the road. Okay, can I nudge Ayla? You nudge Ayla? Ayla. Come on, I just need to sleep. I just really be watching. So, I'm really sorry Ayla, there's there's a guy. It's been about an huh? hour into yes. your trance. Can I look over and do I see the same thing then? Is he yeah, getting you, really close to us? Or yeah, and, and um, you look up and are you are you trying to stay hidden or are you just like poking mm, your head out onto just, the road like, mm, what's going on? Like craning your neck. I don't want to be obvious about it. Yeah. Stealth checks then. Okay. I'll do one as well. Um, I'll put that 20 oh, on that one. Dang. 22. Ooh. Okay, so Ooh. the two of you actually... Um, Sentry, you kind of like lay down and let your natural kind of foliage coming out of your head and the green cloak kind of disguise you, kind of camouflage you against the green hills. Um, Ayla, you kind of slip into like a little bit of shrubland and rely on your kind of natural training as a wild elf to just kind of let you blend away. Um, and you just hear this. And then as the figure comes close, they kind of crane their neck and this lantern casts this green glow over the camp and you can see the figure kind of watch for a moment as it begins looking around. And then he slides off the horse. You hear his armored boots crunch down onto the earth, big long black cape. And now as he's drawn closer, you can see it's a male figure. Um, you can't really see much of their face. They have this deep cowl, but you can just see this kind of strong jawline with a short bit of beard. And their armor is engraved with thorns and rose kind of patterns all up and down their armor as he makes his way over and is kind of looking around the camp, seems to be looking at it suspiciously. I'm gonna step out. The, the lantern spins around and you hear a sh like half drawn blade kind of at the side, like, who's there? No need for that. What is a wild elf doing lurking in the, in the bushes near this camp? I'm resting here. You're with these people? Yes. Puts it down for a second. But you can see that the hand is still on the kind of... <coughs> oh yeah, I've still got my hammer, like, over my shoulder. Looks around. 
And then he kind of, the lantern light flickers on where Sentry is. There's another with you. Who are you? Stand up. Hello, I'm, I'm Sentry. And as the, the green glow kind of reflects off your silvery form, a guardian. Oh, very well, wild elf. I thought that there might be more of your number, which you might be trying to trick me, but if you're traveling with a guardian, then I certainly have some questions. And why would our number concern you? We're only travelers. My job, my duty is to watch these roads. And there's often a lot of attacks on these roads. In fact, the reason I've been traveling south is because there's been a number of caravans that have gone missing. They've never reached Rose Tall and they never returned to Ironwick. So I was sent to ensure that they were, well, see what was going on. And did you find out what was going on? No, I've only just set out. I've just been making my way to Rose Hall tonight when I encountered this strange group on the road. Are you just traveling to Ironwick? Hmm. I cast this glow. And you can see he puts it down and then he brings a hand to his chest and he clutches a symbol, which is a lantern with a single star in the center. He clutches this amulet and he whispers under his breath, um, Give me a perception check just to see if you catch it, the two of you. 13? 12. You catch something along the lines of um, Spirit Guide, tell me if these people are what they seem to be. And then he kind of closes his eyes and opens them again. Uh, well, you do not appear to be creatures of the night or monsters in disguise. You seem to be keeping an eye on your camp. So I will leave you to it. What's your lantern? What does what did that do? Ah, I've never seen one of those before. It's a strange green glow. I suppose you are strangers to this land, I'm a guardian, and perhaps have you recently awoken? I have. I'm well beyond my time, I believe. Yes, I know of your kind. I've studied them. I am a servant of Kilara, goddess of de death. It is my responsibility to watch these roads, to lead wayward travelers to safety. Sometimes we are employed to investigate uh, strange occurrences, such as vanishing caravans. I see. Mm. This is enough to wake us up. Yeah, would they have woken up hearing this? Or I think still be? He's, he's, he's his, his voice is quite noise. soft. He's keeping his voice, like I'm speaking normally for the audience, but he's kind of not whispering, but keeping his voice quite soft. Um, so unless you want to wake them up, I think that, you know, he's kind of a little bit away from where you're sleeping. He was just kind of casting it over you. Doesn't seem to have woken you guys up yet. I suppose there's enough yeah. ambient noise to cover all of it as well. Yeah, there's like, yeah, you hear like the sounds of, of insects. And also you guys, this is like, you know, six, five, six hours into your sleep. So you're pretty, pretty deep asleep at this point. I only need four. Uh, so he's, is he traveling towards Ironwick or He was heading, he was heading towards Rose Hall. Towards Rose Hall, yes. oh, okay. Um, he looks around. There have been some strange things of late. The lake's strange glow. Yeah. There have been some reports of missing children. And then he seems, yeah, that's a good point. He sees Valor and he kind of eyes her a little bit strangely. Have you had much trouble? With your young friend. Actually, yes. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, yes, there have been a, a, a number of disappearances over the last few weeks. Girls with dark hair, about her age. You should be careful. Yeah, we actually just had to rescue her ourselves. Are you from <laughs> being taken You don't from know us. this. I'm glad that she has such starward protectors by her side, Guardian. Oh, it was no mean fee, I can tell you. <laughs> My order has always held your uh, kind, I suppose, in high order. Um, you have performed many great services to Erois. And that oh, is something you. I understand very well. Uh, um, forgive me. My name is Eben. I'm a knight of the Black Rose. Of the Black and Rose. Black and Rose. <laughs> what was that? He's been pencil. writing everything we've been saying. A knight of the When world. Quill sleeps, Black Tom and writes Rose. notes. Black and Rose. <laughs> I am a servant of Kelara, goddess of death. Lovely to meet you. I do not wish to wake your companions. I do. I should be on my way to check on Rose Hall. Have you come from there? Yes. 
and all was well. There's no travelers on the road that we came across the whole way here, which has seemed odd. Yes, people have been unwilling from Cali's rest and uh, where I was sent, and when I passed through Ironwick, people seemed reluctant to send any more wagons south. Uh, too many have gone missing. Uh, most haven't returned or reported back, so they were unwilling to send more. Um, so it is my job to investigate. Uh, contact the field, mar- the field marshal there and send word back. Mm-hmm. Because Katie wasn't here when you did the wagon stuff. Well, they didn't really do the wagon didn't, stuff. He didn't really do anything. No. Just making sure that I didn't. And I think that Ayla either. wasn't there, so it doesn't I make sense. So that I wouldn't Ayla know. Would know. No. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I think it was more that we figured out that there was something to do with the wagons because of the Brookstones. Yeah, I think we okay. found out it was Brookstone that was doing that. That and was causing Because we stopped Brookstone. Yeah. Right. But Ayla doesn't know that. I don't know. Yeah. Was that fact or was that hearsay? I'm going to leave that to you guys. I'm not going to tell you if that's what you think as I characters. I feel like we would have come to a natural conclusion because it stopped when the Brookstones were arrested. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I just can't remember if it was something that was confirmed like, yep, I did it. I was doing it. Mm-hmm. You got me. They're going to stop now. No. Or if it was like... I think it was you, you came to a, a logical conclusion. Logical. I would know the logical conclusion then. Sure. Okay. How many uh, children have been disappearing? It's not an investigation I have been assigned to myself. A uh, rumour I've been hearing. There was a, <coughs> a couple in Ironwick. Um, a beast walker and a man from Goldthrone. He was looking for his daughter. I think she was helping him. Uh, they happened to mention it to me in passing. Uh, I believe that there's been a slew, perhaps six, six girls have gone missing over a few weeks, all from all around Savona. Still missing? Yes, sadly. Interesting. I can only pray that, that if they are dead, that their souls have been guided beyond the cradle, and if they are still alive, that they find rescue soon. Hmm. Mm. It's just interesting, someone of, of this exact... Nature it explains careful. a lot, though. You should be careful. There are many threats out there. Uh, the dead that still walk to the remnant, beasts, monsters in the night. It's a dangerous world down here. Not that I need to tell you that, Wild Elf. Yes, yeah, so we've just come across a, an interesting spirit. Yeah. A spirit? At Rose Hall. Lady, a lady in white. I'm afraid that I'm not normally, I do not normally walk these roads. I came here uh, a few months ago. But a spirit, you say? Mm. That is something that the Order of the Black and Rose cannot stand. Each spirit must pass beyond the cradle peacefully. She's very dangerous. Thank you for the warning. I will investigate. Take extreme care. I will. I will not take any action if I cannot handle it myself. I will call for more of my brethren to put the spirit to work. Very sensible. He murmurs in his sleep. <laughs> it's been over four hours, right? No. I thought you said it was like six hours. Oh, it was hours. over four hours. So yes, actually, Lucian would, Lucius would potentially be out of his trance. I'm pretending. Okay, yeah, yeah. But if you want to uh, wake up and join him, you'd be doing light activity at this point. I'm lightly pretending to trance. Okay. Sure. Listening in. Okay. Can we tell that he's pretending to trance? Sure, you can make a uh, perception check. I kind of want to. One eye open. Fourteen. Eight. <laughs> Give me a deception. <laughs> or performance, actually. I think performance would be more acting. Yeah, they've probably been spotted. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. he rolled yeah, he, has like, well, he like one, opens one eye on occasion. Every now and then, <laughs> every now and then he giggles. <laughs> you see Lucius. <laughs> um, yeah, this, uh, this Eben just sensible. kind of says, well, I won't keep you from your rest much longer. Be careful. Um, if you reach Ironwick, uh, just yeah, be safe. I will report back to them when I know that the roads are safe once again. Are there many of you on this, these roads? No, there are very few of Knights of the Black and Rose. We are mainly sent out from our temples and uh, come to places where we're needed. Uh, my predecessor, uh, he passed on. He was quite elderly and became sick, so I have come to replace him. It is my job now to walk these roads, to offer safety and to guide those that lose their path back to civilization. That's a very noble cause. It is n- certainly nothing compared to the service my goddess performs for all living things. It is my honor to be able to do this. He just gives you a nod, 
safe travels to you all. Um, bye. And he just, and he looks over, goodbye. And he just like looks, <laughs> like as if he knew you were awake the whole time. What? Um, He's in your head. And you just hear him kind of, <laughs> puts one foot in the stirrup, straight back up onto his horse, light kind of tap, and then the horse just plods along slowly, this dull green glow just fading down the road as he continues on his way. I liked him, he was cool. Yeah, he was really nice. nice. He was terrifying. <laughs> Lucius, oh no, you're awake. I've been Have awake. you heard it the whole time? Yes, I was listening to the whole thing very stealthily. <laughs> I'm getting good at that. Yeah, you might, um, yeah, okay, oh. yeah. I'm going to let that one slide, yeah. For a man who's devoted his life to protecting others, he doesn't seem so approachable. No. I think he needs to update his clothing. Oh, with the clothing again. <laughs> I'm just Lucious. saying, he looked, he hid his face. <laughs> he had a green glowing lantern like a ghost. We saw a man very similar to that who was dead. I'm just saying, it just, it's, I wouldn't go to him and say, guide me home, please. He'd be terrifying. He's got a war horse. This is the theme. Though. Yeah, but he's got to protect them against whatever else is on the road. So he needs to intimidate that. Maybe like an orange glow instead of a green one. Nah. Goddess of death as well. Sounds fun. Sounds good. Anyway. Lore! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lots of lore. Anyway. Was um, that Mark's WhatsApp message earlier? I've just done a thing! <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah. You, I, made a thing. Well, I, I told, I posted it in the group earlier because I yeah. thought it was a cool concept. It is a cool concept. It's it also, concept. yeah, it, like the fact that these nobody knows what's going on with these roads and all these kids are going missing. Like, it makes sense that it's interesting now though that patrol mm. there's like six or seven girls that have gone missing. Yeah, Nova's asleep. I don't so know at me. the well. rest of the evening passes without incident. And oh, how in the morning, rare. the rain. <laughs> Stop. <gasps> it is icy cold. It is freezing cold at this point. Okay. Uh, and would damp as well. So. Yes. Mm. You think if you go another night without proper equipment and rest, you're going to start suffering penalties. Mm. So you're, this, this would be your third night. If you spend iron, another night, yeah, like half, half the day. Half away. midday. Yes. Yeah. Right. So you'll reach yeah. Iron Wick just before. Birth. Everybody up. Basically, anything more than two days without proper equipment in miserable conditions, you'll start to lose maximum hit points. Your right. maximum hit points will go down. Mm -hmm. So just as a heads up, that's how that works. I'm shaking over a week. We've got to go, I'm so... Cool. Up you met, go. We met a, we met a cool person last night, Nova. Well, I am not a morning person. Get it! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like everybody, everybody just is like, <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. Let's go. That's not how our Cobra wake each other up, Lucius. How do, do they? What's the. Do is they there like to... a call? Um, it's kind of like. Um... <laughs> Does one of you take turns to. I guess I'll what do does it like, sound like a really, really pleasant kind of like. Yeah, just like a nice, kind of like an alarm a on a song. phone. Yeah, like a bird song. Yeah, well, like a bird song. Yeah, it's it a bird, bird song. <laughs> but I mean, can you wake like us really up that way every day? Um, You're banned from waking up, GT. No, I agree. Well, I you think need to that get was up. that she agreed, but you I don't need to know. get up before the rest of us to do that beautiful song. True. I mean, I do, I, just, I do wake up pretty early as it is, but you guys, you sleep like four hours. Yes. I can't. I can't. You guys that. not get tired. Absolutely, but that's only if we don't trance. Nova's fallen back to sleep. Nova! Cool. Nova! <laughs> Nova! Elves and guardians are cool. Maybe we could crush you down and make you into a little, like, sentry stone and what? we can build an armor piece around you. No. Sorry? Like, no. I've had a weird trance today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had a weird dream about a man in black. It was real. Well, hmm? He was here. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, there was a guy in black. He was very intimidating, very cool. Guy in black. Lots of armor. Patrolling the roads. Yeah, like all in armor. And he had a big horse with glowy eyes. You were asleep. I am very confused, fella. I had, I had a dream. Um, what happened? Do you often have dreams and then man, it... Just a man was on the road. I just watched him walk. And he, he cast like a light and then he went. He did a, he did a spell to test if we were all goodies. Oh. So maybe that got into your dream maybe, maybe. The spell yeah. sorry hang on was all of this a dream or did this actually happen oh, it, happened. Oh, no, it, happened. Confused. Happened. it happened and i'm confused because vala was asleep vala how often do your dreams actually happen very often 
I don't know. Like, not I very think, often, but well, like I mean, the like, fact that... No, like sometimes I think, you know, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't dream things that happen, but sometimes I have a dream that relates to stuff, I guess, sometimes. I had a but I think, like, maybe I woke up, like, Corin and Yusuf used to say that I would wake up and maybe I kind of imagined it, or I it woke up is. and saw something, and yes. then I thought it was a dream. Yes. I, had a, I had a dream once where I was kind of like, you know, people said. laughing at me, and it was, it, was, it was really, it was a bad dream. But I had that a couple of times. No, it never happened, I'm just saying. Get dreams, sometimes they happen, sometimes they don't. I was like, I keep having nightmares about ghosts. Well, that one happened. That's understandable. That makes sense. Yeah. But, yeah. but Valor wasn't awake, and that just happened, and that's a bit odd. Well, maybe it's like what Lucius said. If he cast a spell, maybe that kind of woke me up, like half woke me up or something. Or like got into your... Into your subconscious. Subconscious. Oh, yeah, maybe he's She's been, like, a bit more awake. Dreams. She's saying words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's alive. All right, let's go. I think you would have liked that guy. You probably would have asked like tons of questions. Tell me all about him. On the walk to Anwick. Is that yes. sarcasm? On the walk. Is that Why would he be sarcasm? Like... Yes. Here you go. Because if it one is, roll, I'm real proud. One roll. Oh, one dude. roll. One roll. Nice. It's like a I'll speak roll to you in an hour. with like cheese Lies. and like uh, chopped up like chorizo kind of thing. Um, you got any? Like, um... But it's like a corn roll, like a cornbread roll. Got his seasoning? Nope. That's okay. There's your breakfast roll. Thank you. Yep, there's one, for you. Up, there's one for you. There's one for you. One for Valor. Do you, would you like one, Sentry? I know you don't normally eat, but I know you can. Oh, I'll take one then today. There you go, make one Thank extra you. one. We'll be there by yeah. midday, right? By midday, so let's get breakfast. We can restock, it's fine. Let's get breakfast. Um, so yeah, so mark off one trail ration for everybody. I did that already. Excellent. I did that the night, yeah. Yeah, Excellent. so it counts, right? Um, the other thing as well is, unless you have water skins, which I think most of you do have, or have something equivalent to, um, with water skins you can carry like four days of water tops. Mm. Okay, so you have had to rely on like drinking Rain out water. of somebody else's like water skin the whole way. Avil, can I borrow your sippy cup again? Yeah. Sippy cup. And just hands it to you. It's a good thing we're near. We've been near plenty of rivers lately. Oh, you haven't been. And taking... also, Arvel is drinking some sort of like liquor bottle. On the <laughs> like, side. That's his other thing. Is he's like, <laughs> when you drink his water, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a dwarf. So. Onwards to Iron Wick. Yeah. So... I'm gonna tell Nova all about that, and I'm gonna pull her to the side and tell her about the fact that seven, six or seven girls have gone missing. Okay. But I don't want Valor to hear that. Okay. So you just tell yeah. Nova. Okay. Did you tell him about Lady Vale? Huh? So when we recovered Valor, um, and and we interrogated the Brookstone girl. I think Ayla was there. Girl. I wasn't there. Ah, uh, <laughs> she mentioned a contact called Lady Vale. Um, in Gold Throne. <laughs> <laughs> um, she offered 10,000 gold for Valor. Yeah, like I, I know that this kid is, there's something with her. But, but, but the thing is, there's a contact. So if we see this guy again, we should tell him because then they'd be able to at least trace the trail back to Goldthrone. True. Maybe that's where the girls are. Yeah, it's just extra confirmation that Vala is definitely the one that they're looking for. Oh yeah, that's not in question, but we should do, we should tell as many people as possible so that they can maybe try and find this, these girls. We should tell people that we trust. It's hard to trust people out here. Well, it seems like this Order of the Black and Rose are pretty trustworthy. He says there's not many of them, though. Well, perhaps we can leave a note for him at, at the at Ironwick. You said he came from there, right? Yes. So he must have an agency or something or someone who employed him. We can leave a note for him, perhaps, and he can spread word or continue his investigation. We can try, but I think that if six or seven girls have gone missing and they haven't been found yet, that's a that's still going on. So as you kind of finish up, or as you're having this conversation, you've been traveling the morning, um, the weather is abated, but you still get this, there's a now fresh smell, fresh water smell from this lake, kind of that smell of fish, like a fishing lake kind of thing, m m mixes with the, the foliage smell. And you begin to see Ironwick, it's a small town. There's no formal wall, there's no formal defences, it's mainly just clusters of buildings um, with a 
kind of almost like a row, like a street of buildings along the lakeside, and then a few more buildings outside. You begin to see on the outskirts things like lumber yards, primarily. You don't see a lot of farms around here, though. There's maybe like an orchard um, kind of nestled away in the back, but it's mainly lumber yards. And as you near it, you begin to see the kind of town center, and there is some sort of commotion. You can see that there are a bunch of kind of um, dwarves and humans, and they are currently having some sort of loud argument with a man who looks to be in his 40s, uh, maybe like uh, like late 40s. You can see like salt and pepper kind of black, black and white hair. He looks exhausted. He's got big deep bags under his eyes. His, his features are sunken. Um, his eyes are red like he's been crying um, and he's kind of hunched up. And he's wearing not quite wizard's robes, but definitely he gives you the impression of somebody who has arcane skill. Um, and next to him, you see... At first, you're not... You're, you almost don't think that it's right what you're seeing. You see a woman with very long, very muscular-looking legs. Um, and she's wearing a thick pair of armored plated boots. And, and her legs almost look slightly strange, like she has really long feet kind of half on, like she's standing on her toes, but her feet are elongated and her toes are, are much longer. Um, and she's wearing extremely tight leather trousers with a small hole just above her butt where a fluffy tail is poking out, like a little rabbit's tail. Mm -hmm. And then she has a very tight kind of um, athletic looking body top. You can see like with a little bit of leather armor, long, long white hair, and then two enormous rabbit ears sticking out the top of her head. Like from Final and Fantasy and she's, she looks very much like a Fiera from, uh, from Final Fantasy. And um, she is stood in front of this guy with one arm, and she's kind of keep protecting him from everybody else. But the, the gathered crowd are like, listen, you're, we know it's your people, responsible beast, beast walker. Get the fuck out of here. You're, you're stealing from us. We ain't gonna take it. And she's like, I am not, I'm not responsible. And she's like trying to argue and say like, it's not us. Look, I'm just here to do the job. I'm just a bodyguard, blah, blah, blah. And, and you can see the man is like, please, please, friends. I just want to find my girl, please. It's not Santa. She's been with me the whole time. I don't know what, what who's stolen what, but it's, it's, I need her, please. And you can hear this kind of conversation going on um, as you guys are approaching into the town itself. And Arvel is kind of like, and this is what I mean. Folks around here, they don't take kindly to strange folks. Um, oh, is, he's about to get a whole lot stranger. <coughs> yes. Is anyone, as we're walking through, are anyone kind of having second glances at Varlin? So, as you get closer, um, a few people do clock her, and then there is a kind of, not look of disgust, but look of like, who the fuck are these guys? From oh. a lot of the gathered crowd. As soon as the man, this kind of like tragic, you know, very sad looking man, sees Valor, there is a brief moment of hope in his eyes. And he just, he looks, he's like, Estelle, Estelle. And then he like seems to realize it's not who he thinks it is. And Santa kind of, uh, this, this, uh, this bunny woman kind of looks around and sees him and she kind of is like, I'm sorry, Galen, it's, it's not her. Um, uh, we'll find her though, we'll find her. And then she kind of gives you guys a nod and kind of gives you a thing like, listen friends, you probably don't want to stick around here, these folks, and then they're just like, you know, the argument picks up again. Um, uh, do we, do I, does it, well, do I know <laughs> what she is? Yeah, so all of you know what she is. She's a beast walker. Okay. Um, so this is a race that was born into a very much like Aracocra. They were born into the world after the Sundering by one of the gods, by the god Atelicus, known as the Earth Warden. Okay, so Sentry doesn't know. <laughs> Sentry wouldn't know these guys. The rest of you would. Um, Ayla, the Wild Elves in particular, have kind of a kinship with Beast Walkers, because they tend to live in the same forest. There's sometimes a bit of competition with the more aggressive tribes, but Beast Walkers are generally seen as children of Atelicus, and most Wild Elves see Atelicus as a god that they favor. So there's kind of that mutual respect and understanding of like, hey, we love the land, you love the land too. Let's all love Yay. the land together. Um, 
but they're also pretty cunning. A lot of people treat them as being quite simple because they're a lot of them are because they they kind of live in the wilds and they're beast basic. You know, they're kind of like beasts. Yeah. But they're a lot more cunning than people give them credit for because they're like animals. They can be clever as well. Um, okay. And you can see that she has, you know, her, the rest of her body is quite, quite athletic, but her legs are incredibly muscular. Like, they seem like, you can see these, like, rippling muscles in these tight trousers, and then her boots are heavily armoured. Like, you can see, like, metal plates all along the fronts of her shins, um, and she's just kind of holding, like, the guy back, and she's just, she's kind of turning to him, and they're trying to have a conversation, and, like, the crowd are like, get out of here, and, like... You know, like, and one dwarf in particular, he, he's kind of got like a sandy beard, short sandy hair, and there are three girls behind him, like teenage girls. A dwarf girl, a tiefling girl, and a human girl. And this man is just like, the, 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 they, they've been taking things from my, my, my store for, for the last few days. I know it's you, I know it's you, Beast Walker. And he's like, you know, stammering and pointing at her aggressively, like, my, my, my girl saw you. Uh, and and the girls are like, well, we don't know if it was her, Bodwin, but we saw one of their kind. It was it, with the big rabbit ears, and they're kind of like trying to, you know, well, you can see that they're accusing this woman of stealing from them. Um, as you, like, pull into the town, more and more eyes begin to kind of drift your way, and one of them, a, uh, a human, drunk, surly-looking drunk in like, a blacksmith's apron, sees Ayla, and he's like... This one's working with them wild elves. Look, it's one of them right now. You fucking wild elf. And he's like half cut already. And you can see he's got like a bottle of drink. And he's got like blacksmith's gear, but most of it's missing. He's just got like one hammer and a pair of clippers. And he's just like, it's them. They did it. And you, the crowd now it. kind of turns on all of you. What? Okay, good. <laughs> well, like they, as in like they like turn and fully regard you all now. Hey, don't listen to the drunken man. We're travelers from Rose Hall. We're just trying to get to Gold Throne. And like you can see, Arvel's like, listen, listen to my good bird friend here. We're just traveling okay, through. Okay. We want some supplies, a, a bed for the night. That's all we want. We don't want any trouble. I'm a delight. <laughs> She's a delight. I was gonna say, give me persuasion with advantage, but now it's just gonna be a normal persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> As Ayla is stood there with this massive fucking hammer, I'm a delight. Uh, so not with disadvantage then? No. Um, persuasion, that's 19. Okay, 19. They kind of like murmur themselves, and uh, one of them, this, uh, this kind of general, like this you know, blonde dwarf with a stammer, so you're not with, with, with the Beast Walker? I mean, we just got here. All right, all right I g guess. Uh, if y'all ain't just just arrived, then, then then that's no problem. You most of this stuff's been happening anyway. Uh, so, uh, What's been happening? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, don't d nothing. Just some b b business. Uh, some some th th thievery by their kind. And she he points again at this lady, and she's like, for the last time, it's not me. Look, I know you've had problems with people from the boroughs, but I come from Goldthrone. I've traveled here with Galen. I was here before all of this, any, any of this started. Um, and you can see the crowd are kind of like murmuring to themselves. Um, Goldthrone, you see? Uh, yeah, that's right. That's where me and Galen came from. Um, his, mm. daughter's, his daughter went missing a few weeks ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. He hired me to try and track her down. She I know that she, and she's now, she, this woman kind of turns it back on the crowd like, I know that she came here and none of you have given us any information. It, somebody's hiding something from us. Estelle's here, or she was, and the crowd now seems to get defensive back, and they're kind of like, we, we don't know anything about that. You're the, th the thief around here. Oh, uh, hang on, sorry. Do you, is there any evidence? And you this? can see Valor is now, like, clutching to sentry, like, kind of nervous at this gathering tension. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you asking the... Yes, the if there's the any dwarf? evidence of her doing it, or... B b well, n n my... He points, and he says, uh... He points to uh, the tiefling girl, who you can see has bright red skin, curved horns above her head, black curly hair, dressed in kind of like peasant girl kind of clothing. Zanna here, she, she, she saw uh, one, one of these rabbit folk uh, breaking into my, my store, my wares, the other night. 
uh, he ran off. She, the, the bunny ran off before, before we could catch him. Did Sorry, you just said he. That was that was Marty. Okay. okay. So that. did you see her? B- b- well, n- no. But it, 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 it's it's if it's n- n- not her, it's one of her people. So why just because they're the same her? kind of people doesn't mean that she's got anything to do with it. It's like a, uh, among the crowd. I'm a wild elf. I know this very well. Yeah, so this wild elf is Quills, Quills I have a delight. delight. <laughs> why don't you and you both make persuasion checks for me and see how much you can help Quill? Because Quill's the one kind of making the main argument, and then you're trying to uh, make three. Him. Oh my Eight. god. Eight. <laughs> so you just make me a straight persuasion, and that you're gonna get no help from this. Oh no. Uh, the seven. Now, why are you so quick to def- d- d- defend her, huh? You you just said you don't know this woman. Well, no, I don't. I just don't want the wrong person to go for any crimes that you might that might have been committed here. Well, I, 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 are you a l- lawman? No. Th- then I guess it's none of your business. I suppose. If you punish the wrong person, though, the actual thief is still out there and might steal again. There's another. Give me a persuasion check. Fourteen. Fourteen. There's a general kind of murmuring, and this time an elderly looking dwarf woman, grey hair, piercing blue eyes, spectacles, kind of comes out of the crowd. And she just kind of looks around. She's Bodwin, get you and the girls back to the store. The rest of you get out of here. Come on. What is this, a circus? Finally. None of you, all of you strangers, you stay right there. Well, I would like to purchase something. Well, this is my town, Mr. Sky Elf. Are you... you ain't gonna be purchasing nothing until I decide that you're allowed. That doesn't make any sense, but okay, sure. I'm the field warden here. What I oh. say goes. Oh, oh, field warden, did you get my note? Uh, a bird would have brought it. Like, maybe a few days ago, it mentioned about like some fugitives coming to Ironwick. I addressed it to a field warden, but I, I, I wasn't the harvest, you know, I, I don't know if it got here. One of the locals did bring me a message carried by a bird. That was for me! Hi, I'm Nova. Uh, it was a pleasure. We didn't have no fugitives come, and to be honest, I wasn't quite expecting to trust the word of a, a bird <laughs> messenger. Understandable. Uh, we actually caught up with the fugitives. Um, and we took them back to, um, Rose Hall. Rose Hall? Is that where we did? Y'all have come from Rose Hall, you say? Yeah. Yeah, we only have You didn't have any trouble on the roads? No, not at all. Hmm. Interesting. Were we meant... Well, is is there any trouble on the roads? been a lot of trouble on the roads. Caravans and wagons going missing, that sort of thing. A fella from that Order of the Black and Rose came through to deal with it, sent from Callie's Rest. My name is Missy Steele Eye. I'm the field marshal here. Galen, Senna, you stay right there as well. Now, as you can see, things are a little tense in Ironwick. Had a lot of things happen. Now, this man, she points at this wizardy looking human. Mr. Sands here claims his daughter's, his daughter's been taken, and his beast walker friend claims that she was brought here. Now, as far as I understand, this woman has a bit of a reputation as a bounty hunter, so I'm willing to take a little faith that what she says is true, but my people say they haven't seen nothing, and I'm inclined to believe. Now, I appreciate what you said. We can't let the real perpetrator get away. If there's thieves, we want to catch the right people. I don't want no thieving in my town. This town thrives on tourism. I don't want any rumors about no thieves going free around here, much to what the people might say. So, as far as I'm concerned, you can stay here. That goes for you as well, Galen, Santa. But consider yourselves on close watch. All right? I now. feel so welcome hmm. in this tourist-enhanced town. We don't plan to stay for too long. We're on the way to Gold. You have come at a particularly bad time. I can assure yeah. you the views of the lake are still just as plentifully beautiful, plentifully beautiful as they normally are. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try that one again, yeah. Stevie? In- plentiful. 
plentifully <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> I particularly you like can't I'll, be taking no, I'll be taking less lip like that, thank you very much. It's <laughs> a really nice uh, green glow on yeah. that, that old lake there. Healthy. As soon as you say that, <laughs> oh, she stiffens a little and you can see, she says, well, that is just a natural phenomenon that is being caused by some sort of algae at the bottom of the lake. It's nothing to worry about. Can I inside check? Yeah, absolutely you can. Ooh, I mean, you all can, because Arvul said that he's never seen it before, so Eight. everyone can make an insight check. No. no. 19. <laughs> Is that with just with any bonus? Oh. Uh, One. Yeah, 14. 20. 14, Eight. 20. Yeah. loves everything. Six. Six. So everybody, I'll make one for Arvul and Vala as well. So everybody except Lucius, Sentry, and Arvul. I mean, you don't pick up on it. It's not that you believe her, but you just don't pick up on this uh, tenseness. Mm -hmm. The three of you, Lucius, Sentry, and, Ar and Arvel. Yeah, I mean, there is clearly something that isn't right. Like, Arvel's already said that he's never seen it before. But also the way that she stiffened up as soon as it was mentioned makes you think that she's worried about it. It's not necessarily that she's hiding something, but this green glow is something that she's worried about. Um, and she's just like, well, that's nothing to worry about now. Uh, plenty of views. I mean, we don't allow boats out on the lake at night anyway. It's dangerous. There are some critters in the lake that come out at night, so you make sure you don't go swimming on a late night dip, please. And uh, now, if you need to be somewhere for a place to stay, uh, the Traveler's Lodge, it's called the Coral Vase. It's just over on the lakeside over there. It's those lovely little row of buildings. If you need some supplies, the Acorn Bale is owned by... Mr. Bodwin, that was the blonde dwarf with the stammer that you saw earlier. I'd give him a few hours to calm down if I were you. He's been having some real turn of bad luck, getting a lot of thieves in his area, and he is ready to pop. He is ready to storm off after the Iron Burrows and go take all of those Beast Walkers uh, to, back to the dark beyond. Do you sell uh, winter clothing? Cold well, clothing? He will have some winter clothing, yes, of course, sir. He will absolutely have that. Um, if you need any things that a blacksmith would deal with, I'm afraid you're a bit out of luck. How local smith is uh, well, dead drunk. Yeah, certainly is that. Uh, uh, trying to sober him up, but nothing you know what? He works. wasn't nice. a delight. <laughs> <laughs> is that a recent occurrence? Much unlike blacksmith? our good friend here. No, hey. he's been like that for years. Ever since, ever since the iron run out, he's been. Having a hard time down iron on his luck. Without Turns iron. Blimey. Indeed. But anyway, just be careful. Um, Did this town have any dealings with uh, the Brookstone family? He <coughs> took the iron and. A Brett Brookstone? Yeah. I mean, he would send his iron up this way. Uh, I mean, he would just send it on to Goat Throne. I'd normally do the usual, uh, charge a small tax for his men to pass through. Okay. But nothing major, why? No, just, just wondering, just uh... Well, I suppose if you come Blacksmith from Rose Hall, it's... Drunker. <laughs> I suppose if you've come through Rose Hall, you're obviously, you must have heard of the Brookstone. He's about to get dead. <laughs> anyway. Alcohol poisoning. <laughs> I will leave all of y'all to your business, but do keep in mind what I said. Got a close eye. If any of you are up to no good, We'll find out about it. You she just tips, worry about tips her spect spectacles and then turns around and shuffles off uh, into uh, one of the Ayla's local buildings. Ayla's going to grin at her as she goes like, uh, in a really non-serious way. The, <laughs> we'll take, I think, actually, we'll take a break there and then yeah. we'll jump back in straight away. Cool. So break, break for Kate. Lovely. Break for Kate. Very cool. Break for Kate. See you in five. See you in five. five. <laughs>
Hello, welcome back. We finished <coughs> having some cake. Because I forgot to mention, we should have mentioned it in the start. Yeah. It's Katie's birthday. Well, it's not your birthday yet. On Tuesday, on the on 13th. Tuesday, this is but the that's a work day. Stream. So, yeah. It's Katie's Today's birthday. Today's my birthday now. <laughs> happy birthday, Katie. <laughs> so, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. No. no. To. Oh. You. Uh, so we just had some cake. Birthday. Birthday. That's my present. You can buy a you. high quality mug. Stop. Oh. <laughs> birthday is my birthday. Birthday. Um, we are aware about the flickering. Steve's trying to do his best. Unfortunately, there's not really much we can do. Hopefully, you still enjoy it. People oh. seem to be enjoying it anyway. It's cold in here. Enjoy so the hot drink. Right. Enjoy the flickering. So, you are. We live as we we rejoin as as this uh, dwarven woman, Missy Steel Eye makes her way back into Missy. the town of Ironwick. Um, and you see these two strangers. So the group of you with Valor and Arvel and these two strangers, this beast walker uh, with hair, bunny-like traits um, and armored boots next to this this very tragic looking man. Mm. And, and he just looks at all of you with this kind of look in, in desperation. He sees Valor and he kind of looks away a little bit. It's, you know, as if looking at Valor is quite hard for him. Um, and he just, I'm sorry, uh, hang on, I need to, because he's American. I'm sorry, I just need to know if, um, I, I can see that you're traveling with that young lady and, and, uh, you've not seen any other girls like her around, have you, uh, not seen any on the road or? No, not on the road, no. no. I, uh, I where, don't think so. Where did, uh, it happen? <laughs> Uh, so he he looks like he's about to kind of like break a little bit. Like you can see, he kind of like chokes up, and the woman kind of puts a hand on his shoulder and is like, "It's all right, Gail, and I can take care of this. This is what you hired me for." Uh, she kind of looks and she goes, uh, "Well, f first of all, I'm sorry that you all got brought into that mess. Uh, the town's been getting really, really tense lately uh, with all these thefts and." Obviously, they've been hearing about these missing girls. And, and the weird, creepy green glow. Yeah, that's been a strange one. Um, but anyway, you just came in at the wrong time, I think. Uh, it's a shame you didn't arrive a few days earlier. Things were a bit calmer. But my name is, I'm Santa Longears. Um, I'm a bounty hunter from up in Gold Throne. Um, this is Galen Sands, uh, my client. Uh, he's hired me to try and track down his missing daughter, Estelle. She went missing a couple of weeks ago from uh, Kaylee's Rest, actually. Uh, it's where her mother and, and her live. Um, she went missing, and Galen brought me on. We did some basic investigation, and I found that she had been abducted by some uh, men and women dressed all in black. Um, they seemed to possess some magical abilities. Um, I managed to track them on the road, and that brought me here to Ironwick, but since then, the trail's gone cold. Um, you should really be careful. Uh, that young lady traveling with you, and six, I think it's five or six girls matching her description have gone missing. Mm, yeah, we We're might have already aware. experienced that. Yeah, I'm like adjusting my eye patch a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe let's have this conversation yeah. somewhere else, but I'd like to hear what happened. Uh, mm. There might be a clue there that can help me find We definitely stuff. have some information that you might find useful. Definitely. We're staying at the, the Traveler's Lodge. There's a series of villas along there. Uh, Galen's paid for those, so um, yeah, you're more than welcome to come. We don't have beds, but we have a place to talk. Better than here. Sure. Do you uh, have anywhere we can dry our clothes? Uh, I don't have any extra clothes for No, just, you. just like a fireplace. I mean, we can get naked if just everybody's comfortable with that, <laughs> but I figured that you wouldn't be. I'm yeah. totally in some new experiences, but I'm more I like... Mean, I'm that's, <laughs> wow, what a little firebrand, I'll sure. I'll give anything a try at least once, but right now I'm turning into a prune. No, but... Okay. No, but... Uh, <laughs> it's right. raining This like took a turn? Last this, night. Yeah, this really did. Stop I'm that. taking... She kind of looks at Ayla and Nova like... Okay, uh, and then she just uh, <laughs> says, "Right, Lucius let's." Lucius is blushing. <laughs> let's let's just Heavily. head back to. Oh come on, it's just biology. Let's just <laughs> head back to our villa, and if you guys want to get your own and, and get your clothes clothes dry, you can do that. I'll see if we've got any spares. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to the store. Can we? Right can now. we meet you? Well, if you want to do that, sure. Uh, I don't recommend you go to the store. Why no not? Offense. I'm a delight. I'm sure you are. I'm <laughs> sure you are. keep saying it until people start believing it. I'm yeah. trying to believe it. Uh, people around hey, here. One. <laughs> one down. I mean, I'm happy to believe it. Good. Two. 
Hey, Me too. numbers going up. Three. Oh, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> winner. <laughs> Bala just puts her hand up. I believe it. Ooh. Everything's coming up. Era. Right. Lucius, <laughs> why don't you let me go to the store? Why? Well, because... You're going to pick the wrong colours. I need no. to go, Arvel. All right. Well, I'm going to come with... I'll go with Lucius, because I don't want him getting stabbed by the locals. Ah, uh, I technically have all the money. Then it looks like you're coming with both of us. I give a big grin. You can update... Can get Bala something real warm? Of course. Yeah. I mean... Right. And can we get some kind of a tent? Please. Yeah, we're gonna need yeah, a couple. Also, of, get yourself some beds. bed rolls. Jesus Christ! I'd like an umbrella. Yeah, uh, let's get me something as well. I'll go with Ava. Um, I think we're all going, aren't we? Yeah. Is it because I'm into the light? Uh, I'm, I I'm don't recommend because... we all go to this fella's store. You saw what he was like. He Racist. was agitated and not Racist. exactly friendly. It doesn't seem to like um, a lot of us storming in his place is gonna. We're gonna win him over. Don't you worry. With money. Uh, Would you like well, to get fella true. somewhere warm? He's been uh, on the road. The 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 bunny woman, Santa. It's just like. You're more than welcome to come and stay in our place. Uh, it's, it's pretty secure. Um, I've made sure to uh, take care of as best, best of that as I can. And if anything, if anybody does cause trouble, I can certainly help you. Well, you seem extremely capable, so. Good. Oh, I'm, I'm capable in a few, th with few ways, yeah. Anyway, uh, come back to the villa with us. You guys go get your clothes if that's what you need. Uh, Absolutely. And we'll meet you there. It's just on the lakeside, all right? Uh, Please be clothed when we arrive. It's very inappropriate it's definitely going to happen i mean Aren't although birds... speak for yourself birdman and then yeah. he watches this bunny lady just kind of stumps towards Aren't birds technically naked to be fair i'm probably fine as well yeah, <laughs> yeah you I'm just gonna... have like a cloak right? yeah that's pretty much all i've got so i'm okay i'm going to the store <laughs> <laughs> okay so who's going to the store so nova lucius and arvel is anybody else going? Did Sentry want to go? No, I'll take Nova. You're going to take Vala, Vala to the thing, you're going to yep. the villa, yep. you're going to the villa with Zana. Yeah. Okay. Um, apparently no one and Galen will come with you as well. Um, okay, we'll do the store first then. Um, so... Shopping! The... Woo! Oh, Christ. Not Time for an outfit montage! <laughs> so, the general store in town also serves as the inn, um, and it's called the Acorn and Bale. Um, they don't have rooms to rent, they just have a bar and then the general store, mm -hmm. uh, which is attached to it. There is a terrace bar which looks out onto the lake. Mm -hmm. um, it's all wooden. Very it's nice. very kind of alpine ski resort, but not snowy. Um, okay. It's kind of very, it's all like... Hunting very lodge? Very hunting lodge style, mm -hmm. right? Like big log cabins, um, thick wooden planks. I'm literally just imagining Red Dead Redemption 2. Kind of. Like this whole afternoon. Yeah, yeah. a lot of that. <clears throat> That's um, just uh, and <laughs> just taking over your life. When you step inside, there's Definitely a little jingle of a bell. There's like a little ding. How cute! Um, and you can see the <laughs> kind of like rubbing his head sat down is the is the blonde dwarf that you saw earlier. Mm -hmm. You can see he's got quite a short beard for a dwarf, and he looks quite young. Um, but he's got like this blonde sandy hair, and he's kind of just rubbing his head. He looks up. Um, he kind of just like groans a little bit, and then just waves his hand. And this bright, smiley um, human girl, about 17, is like, Hey there! Welcome to the Acorn and Bale. How can I help? Oh, hello. It's an absolute well, look privilege. At you. Yes. Look how at me. fancy. <laughs> look at me. Well, how, well how, on, how, how on a row can we help you today? I would like to buy, buy some globling. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tranced very well. It spreads. Help you want me. to <laughs> pass me again? I would like to buy some clothing for me and my companions. Well, uh, we definitely have to. I'm surprised. And bedrolls. We need bedrolls. Jesus. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, it's been some harsh nights. Zanny, Van. Um, and you can see a dwarf girl of about the same age and this tiefling girl kind of emerge. She's like, would you mind fetching this, this nice gentleman and his friends? How lovely some, this person. Uh, <laughs> how many, how many bedrolls did you say you need? Yes, we need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Five. Arvel doesn't need one, does he? Does, does Arvel have one? Arvel has yeah. one. Yeah. Arvel and Ayla five. have one. Um, so it's one, two, three, five. four. Because Sentry doesn't. Does yeah. Sentry, Sentry do does, like, Sentry yeah. is a contract, but she still Needs benefits comfort. from comfort. Okay, yeah, five. Like a okay. warm plate. So five <laughs> bed rolls, anything else? <laughs> and then just the clothing you see. Ten. I'll show you that, because I imagine you, a mighty nice dressed gentleman like you needs to have a look and see what you want to buy. You oh, are so nice to me. Do you have a full-size mirror? Because I need to see the whole thing. You no, know, we don't, but 
I tell you, Vin, why don't you you go fetch the one our, our mirror from our place? It's not a big one, but it's in. You, we can hold it up and you can kind of see. It's very she's kind like, of you. She's like, all right, Ben, I will. And she's got a bit of a deeper voice. Um, and she trots off, and you can see the tiefling girl starts gathering up bed rolls and things like that. Excellent. Um, and the the human girl kind of leads you over. She like offers a hand, and she like, <laughs> leads you over <laughs> to like a the selection of they're all like big fur jackets or cloaks. Um, you can see heavy waxed kind of clothing, but it is all very utilitarian. Um, there is a selection of hats, most of which are like cowboy hats. Um, I want a cowboy hat. uh, and they're all like placed on a thing. Uh, yeah. Big like furry boots, big thick leather boots, um, wool trousers, anything warm and and rustic is here. Come on, Sentry. Played. No, but not here. Sentry's not here. Shit. No, <laughs> Shit. <laughs> my brain has rotted your brain. Never. Arvel just follows behind. Arvel? Yes. Now I know. Now those are some nice hats. Okay, we're avoiding those. Um, what? <laughs> Arvel, I want you to pick me a hat. All right, we'll do. He's like, nope, no, no, that color's not gonna work. No. Maybe black because of the blue skin. Maybe. Oh, he's paying attention. Let's mm, let's have a look. <laughs> he does care about I'm, color. I'm actually, the color. <laughs> when it comes to a fine hat, Arvel Day yeah. cares <laughs> very much. Um, yeah, he selects like a black. Kind of Stetson, kind of uh, like shallower, not as big as his. His mm. is a big Stetson. But it'll keep the rain off. But it's head. like a nice kind of like little, yeah. uh, you know, cowboy hat. Mm. He finds that he's like, yeah, that'll do. A nice waxed hat. Yeah. Do you have anything in um, uh, platinum? Is it? Is it in platinum? Like no, the made just platinum? the color. Not being absurd. Now I which? What silver? Yes. Like a white no. fur. I mean, white. We have a little bit of. Uh, I think we got some. Some dyed leather hides. What's your um, current trend? Warm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the current trend. Practical, utilitarian, I like it. That could be very vogue. Yes. Um, Is that an elven word? Can I retrospectively say to get, them, to get me something warm? Just warm in general. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Sure. Mm. Me too. Because I'm not allowed to go. If to we can shop. afford it. <laughs> yeah. How much are these? Well, looking at the big blonde coats. Big cloaks, let me see here. Oh, I, I would go ask Bobwin, but he's he's not coping very well with the stress. All these thefts. Oh, I, I think that that poor man, he's gonna have a heart attack at such a young age. Really? He's He is tearing his hair out. He poor should, fella. He should really not do that. I know. Hair is so Shame. important to frame the thing is, face. he doesn't even, I don't think he has any family. I don't know what he's gonna do. Oh, that's so tragic. So, with the coats. <laughs> yes, with the coats. So, let me just see here. Now, traveler's clothes. Mm. I kind of like the mm. mottled look right now, so if there's anything mottled. Why are you not in this section? <laughs> How about we say 10 silver for four cloaks and... Now, sir, you ain't... I may be a I was simple being girl, naughty. but I was you, being you ain't naughty. gonna get one over me. It never works. What was Why stolen recently? Stolen? What, yeah. from here? Yeah. Ooh, bunch of things. Uh, food, like supplies, like rations, that sort of thing. Um, so a lot of, uh, some of Bogwin's rarer collection, gemstones. Ooh. Um, I think he had a couple of potions, like healing potions, that sort of thing. All taken, absolutely tragic. I've got a joke. It seems like their taste was stolen too. <laughs> I'm looking at the coats. I don't understand. Well, now if you're now if you're looking for nice <laughs> traveler's clothes, the yeah. cloaks, you get boots, you get a tunic, trousers, and one hat. That's two gold. Two gold. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I'm so sad it was he good. Just killed for a full Tom. set. But for one person, obviously. Two gold. Now if you're looking for something a bit finer, sir, yes. that would come to and she's like, we've got some very luxurious fox furs. Uh, very excellent pelt qualities. That's that would cost you fifteen gold. This is the finest, sturdiest leather you're gonna get here in Savannah. Cowboy. Does it look like though? She shows you, uh, and it looks like. Is it conforming? It's yeah. It's like tight, and it's 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 utilitarian, but it's done in that kind of really nice, high class way. Mm -hmm. It's like all the buttons are like polished gold or like brass. Mm -hmm. um, like it's got like nice fastenings. Oh. The the more rough stuff is like a tied together kind of like loose tunic kind of thing. This is like a tailored kind of shirt. 
um, with like a kind of like woolen. I'll okay. take one of those. So fi- you want this nice fine ensemble? Yes, just the one. Now it'll be 15 for that one. Absolutely. And then two gold for as many sets as you need. Now we have quite a few. Mm. So if you've got any friends that need them. Hi, I have a whole shopping list. Well, well, look at you, Miss Blue. How can we help you? <laughs> um, so I, that rhymed wow. three times. <laughs> I need, I need. I like you picking up the accent. I know it's kind of cute. I like it. <laughs> uh, well, it's not as cute as you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You're adorable. What's um, happening? I'm trying on the coat. <laughs> I'm assuming I look adorable. You look you, adorable you look too. Like the classic rich boy <laughs> out hunting. <laughs> He's bought all the best hunting wear, but it, he has no idea what any of it's really used for. Look, I'm from Rose Hall. Do you have a hat, is the question. I'm not buying a hat. You don't want hat hair. Mm. All right. Uh, oh, what, man, what I you <laughs> <laughs> I need five bedrolls. Well, your friend's already got those. Are those separate to them? Uh, They're on the tab. I haven't bought them yet. I bought. They're on the tab. You haven't bought anything. I'm just writing down what you're going to pay all together. How much? Oh, I put the the gold on the floor <laughs> over there. You see the the tiefling girl just sweeping it up into her hands and like putting it in the thing. Okay, so, so you, pay, so you paid for your outfit. fine outfit. Okay, yes, yeah. you paid for that. Yes. Uh, how much is five bed rolls? Uh, well, they're a gold each, so that'd be five. Five gold. gold. Uh, I need a set of clothes for a young lady. Yeah, that'd be two gold. Two gold. She no uh, two gold. Do you, do you have a top or a, now, a tent? Excuse me, sir. This lady is talking to me. I'm yeah, dealing with her delicious. first, I'm afraid. You have your clothes. <laughs> Where's the mirror? <laughs> oh, and then the dwarf girl is bringing it in and is like holding it up. There I am. And I'm going to walk over. Yeah, Lucius, go free me. There I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you have any tents or anything? We have a few tents. Yeah, for sure we do. Now, these, fit, this, th- these will fit two people. So how many would you need? Math. <laughs> Three. Three? They're two gold each. Four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> so four tens. Did you forget? Four One, two, tens. three, four, five. Now these are, are pretty heavy. Fella. Okay. Now, uh, do you have a way of carrying all of these? Because these, these are pretty heavy. All right, fine. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I mean, well. So we have five yeah. bed rolls, mm-hmm. a, a set of traveling clothes for a young girl, mm-hmm. four tents, mm-hmm. anything else that I can get you. Well, we might need a few other outfits, actually. How many? Uh, uh, t- would, you want, would you have told me that you wanted one? I don't think I would have. No? Okay, I think my clothes so, fine. Okay, so um. Ayla, myself. <laughs> what? Arvel was probably fine. I think I'm fine. Century. Yes, nice. yeah. You want you want oh. clothes. I would like to. Okay, so. yeah, her clothes not made for cold. So though. four of them. None of ours so Vala, myself, Ayla, and oh, Sentry. Right. Well, they're two gold each, and that'd be eight gold total. Okay, Mark. There's can nothing I, to stop you from. Can I ask you? I'm a sorry, you're not there. No, can I ask you a question? Can Tom ask you a yes, question? Of course you can, Tom. I have feathers. Yes. Right. Am I suited for cold weather more than most? Think about birds, Tom. Do birds just survive in any weather that yeah, they want? Yeah, they piss off back to Africa, innit? <laughs> <laughs> piss off out the model village. Um, can I just hibernate then? <laughs> <laughs> migrate, migrate. Not hibernate, you're not a hedgehog. Whatever you want. Come on. You, We're currently Are there hedgehogs? You get cold. In Erois. You're water okay. resistant though. Oh. I mean, in, in, in that case, because you, sub- you will fare better than most in cold weather, okay. but you will still get cold. Same way that Sentry is technically not a living creature, but her wood gets cold and is dangerous. Okay, so what would an Arakokra do to stay warm? Thick cloak, like device. a big, thick, fluffy cloak. Can I buy a beak warmer? Kim. Yes, What's a little party hat, fun? a little, like, mm-hmm. little bubble hat. Mm-hmm. I mean, a beak warmer is you don't really need. Fun oh. I mean, you can have one, but I don't know what that looks like. Just a furry muzzle. <laughs> <laughs> um, they can get, like, I think I would have, in that case, retroactively asked for clothing. Okay, so, Five you would ask for clothing, so five yeah. outfits. Five yeah. bedrolls, five outfits, four, four tents. tents, and a partridge in a pear tree. All right. I've already got a partridge. This guy. <laughs> Can I be oh, the I'm the tree! Yeah. <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the High Rollers Christmas card sorted. Yeah. Sounds like y'all doing a bunch of traveling. Is there anything else you might need? Uh, 
fishing equipment or, you Ooh. know, hunting gear or... We'll probably need rations and things, but I think I need to discuss this with the group because I all don't right. know what well, our of, plans are. You, of course you can, my dear. Of so course we'll, you can. We'll well, let me just total back. all this up for you now. That's going to be... I've got hunting gear. That's right. going to be yes. 23 Thank gold you. all told, please. Perfect. Thank um, you so much. I, I need a hat. Um... <laughs> you can, there's a lovely head right here for you. Just that's a white one. Oh. That's a white, like, obnoxiously large cowboy hat. Did I'll that include? Take it. <laughs> oh my god. How much is that? Winter edition. But it's part of the fine outfit. Oh. Comes as part of the fine yeah, does that fun. outfit include the black hat that Arvel picked for me? Oh, no, it looks Everybody cute. Everybody gets a hat. Like Everybody that. gets a hat. The traveling gear is like a, a hat. Oh, Better right. idea. Cowboy hats. Yeah. <laughs> my spike's just gonna pierce for a <laughs> <laughs> oh You don't God, need yeah. to wear it, but yes, you, it's you should. Yes. You should. I will wear a hat. Some of them might be more like a like a like a like a raccoon hat. What they call yeah, them, like yeah. the traveler's hat. Like oh, it's just like a fur thing yes. with like a little tail. I think my favorite thing about this campaign that is piece. this horrible <laughs> shock RP. That we've had in every yeah. place we've yeah. gone to. <laughs> That's D and D, man. Yeah, D &D. this was pretty pretty succinct, I'd say. Yeah, yeah so yeah. we're yeah. sharing this. Yeah, we're being didn't... sarcastic. I genuinely love yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, it's good fun. I'm not even yeah. in the shop, and I'm loving it. Yeah. Um, Your um, mirror. Yes. Now, I think it might be slightly curved because I definitely don't put on as much as. I think, you know... You must be, must be must slightly be. curved. Now, You're right. You, you'd tell me, wouldn't you? I would. If I looked a bit bigger. Because I, I've i been on a diet. Of course, fella that I've only just met and have never seen before, so I have no context. <laughs> I would absolutely tell you. Thank you so much. You No problem. What a, what a sweetheart you are. What a lovely man. That's... Oh, but just... Oh, ain't you just... Oh, you're so handsome. Oh. Yes, I had an undead spirit tell me that too. Sorry, what? <laughs> 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 and the three of you make your way back to this villa. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, when you get back, um, so those of you who went straight to the villa, uh, it is one of these kind of yeah wooden lodges okay. um, that looks out onto the lake. Um, it's it's comfortable. You know, there's big thick uh, you know furs and hides. For, uh, for to sleep on, big thick chairs, big comfy chairs with blankets. It's like a big hunting lodge, really. Is this like the general housing for everyone in the? No, this this it looks like it's like guest accommodations, like a like a villa you would rent out to on a little holiday or something like that. Are we in like, centre parks. Very centre parks esque. <laughs> it is very centre parks esque. Cool. These are like little lodges dotted along the lake. We had in Scotland. With like trees and things like that. <laughs> the American like viewers are going to have no idea what that means. Sorry. Google it. Did you just have a big like golden tea? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there is it's like a little like a vacation oh, spot. Oh man. Like this, 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 it's nestled on the lake. It looks out on this beautiful lake. Cool. More monsters, though. There are yeah. like little boats. Um, you oh, can see that geez. there is like a little wharf where there are boats for hire There's and things like boats that. Boats for hire. Oh my god, I love this place. The little pedlos. Um, <laughs> We're not doing like the next ten episodes here. But when you go inside, <laughs> the, vacation. When okay. you go inside this villa, you can see that spread out on the uh, table is a map of this area of Savona. Um, you can see lots of little notes and like writings and scribblings and things like that have been pinned into the map and things like that. Um, hmm. You can see that there is uh, a suit of leather armor uh, kind of like hung up. There's some traveling cloaks. Um, you can see uh, some magical apparatus as well. It looks like that there is a selection of like, um, not quite a spell book, like little scrolls and parchments and things. And Galen, the man, just kind of gets in. He gets into like the big chair and he just starts kind of like rubbing his head. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming, um, just to help Santa with the investigation. It's, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> and you can see that he looks tired. Um, you look. Are you, are you sure it's a good idea for you, for you to be joining this investigation rather than just sending people out to? Do... I I I couldn't just stay in Gold Throne doing little rituals for noblemen. I had to do something. I knowing my girls out there, I I just can't. Okay. Um, I'm Santa's doing all the hard work, and I know I, I I'm not a fighter. I know a little magic, but um, <coughs> she's the one I've hired. But I I just have to 
if nothing else, I can pay for things, you know? I, I can be here to pay for this villa and, and buy clothes and food, whatever mm -hmm. she needs to, to find my girl. Okay, and um, so I guess update us on everything at least you know. Um, well, should we wait for your friends to come back? Uh, uh, or it could be this too? Uh, it's probably best actually. <laughs> Alright, well please, there's some food out in the kitchen, uh, please help yourselves. I'm going to. Um, I'm just going to do a little spell around the around the villa, just to, in case anybody tries to get in, um, I, just to protect us. Is that a common thing? I've been doing it every night, so. Okay, as a reaction to something that happened, or just? Oh, no, just. I mean, when Santa told me that whoever took Estelle was here. I see. I mean, from what Santa's told me, these these people are dangerous. They have magic and. They're clad in black. They, they, I mean, they took my girl without anybody knowing. Okay. Um, um, so I figured that this is... I should have done it at the house, but I just didn't think. I, I was so busy with work, I, I just didn't put the alarm spell on the don't, house don't like I normally yourself. do. Don't blame yourself. Don't. I'm sorry. I, I'll, I'll be with you in a minute. And he goes off and he starts poodling around the house. And you can see he has this thread, like this silver thread that he's kind of like winding around okay. um, the main chambers. I guess to pass the time, could I look at the map and just sort of compare with my own, see what... Mm, yeah, so it's thought? pretty much the same thing. It shows the Golden Road, um, the little places along it. Mm -hmm. um, you can see that the main things are noted is Callie's Rest, um, and you can see that in a kind of very rough handwriting, whoever's written this doesn't look like they're well, they're practiced at writing physically, but you can see rough notes like taken from home, um, found tracks in alleyway, um, witnesses saw people in black leaving this area, okay. tracked from here, and then it follows the road down. Um, and it mainly, re re you know, mainly relies on physical tracking, like actually like following tracks. Yeah. And then just as it gets to Ironwick, last tracks lead towards Villa, towards the town, townsfolk, no response. Um, people are hiding something, is, is what's written down. Okay, fair enough. Um, and then, yeah, <clears throat> probably there's enough time. When you get back, Santa has come back downstairs and she's kind of taken off the armoured boots. And you can now see that her feet are quite elongated. They're like rabbit's feet, kind of elongated, and she walks primarily on, like, the tips of her toes. So it kind of gives her legs, like, this bow-legged kind of uh, look. But she's very springy. Like, she can, she moves around very gracefully. So her knees bend forward or backwards like a rabbit? Uh, Whichever way a rabbit goes. Inverted. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, she comes down and nods, and then Lucius, Arthur, and uh, no. Well, hi, y'all! <laughs> hey, y'all! Hey, wearing all. hats hey. and the outfits. Well, Lucius just, is uh, mainly white, like leather, with like little <laughs> trims. It's like a bad, like Elvis. Like a rhinestone like, <laughs> cowboy. Not rhinestone, but there's definitely like little brass fixtures. And then Do I like, have the tassels. strips on the arms? You have the little strips, yeah. Um, Which is a couple of renegade lowlanders, uh, <laughs> uh, locals. Look the part. I'm Ready. just going around putting the hats on everybody. Valor is oh. like... <laughs> Compared this to is everyone else's glorious. Like, you get a hat, do thing. No one would, except the fact that she's blue. Yeah. Um, and has like all these scrolls and stuff fit in with it. Lucius <laughs> looks pretty ridiculous. Hey, good. Like um, Elvis. You look very bright. I'll say thank that. you. Yes, I feel like I'm radiating today. Yes. Thank you very much. Splendent. Yes, I found the best looking I'll clothes like, for me. Arvel <laughs> carries the thank four you. tents like... <laughs> 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 I am not carrying all of these tents again. I did suggest we left it there for everyone else to come and help with. I'm not, I'm not allowed to go a... there, apparently. Mm. Thank I you very much. I will carry my Arvel. tent. Mine. Okay. <laughs> and thank no one else you. can carry theirs. You're going to have to share that, Arthur. That's fine. With me. <laughs> Quill, I don't suppose you want a roommate. We were bunking on the airship, Arthur. I know, that's why I'm asking. Uh, I mean... Or do you want to stay with Sentry? She's... She's got a shield. You know what, Lucius? I think you should have a tent to yourself. <gasps> and your Vala can bunk that? with me, Ayla and Nova can bunk, and then Sentry and Quill. And then you get it too, but you will have to carry it. It'll be a luxury tent, though. Oh, that's space. Spacious. Yeah. I'm going to go over and try and lift. So, you don't have a lot of equipment, so you can carry it, but oh, it's heavy. Oof. About 20 pounds, this <laughs> tent. It's like bundled up, you have to wear it like on a backpack. Oh, it's going to like cause scratches in my nice new coat. 
Oh, not oh, your cowie you raincoat. You're wearing cowies now, Lucius. Well, yeah, maybe you can yeah. pay someone to carry it for you, because I'm not. Unless you pay Who me. Who wants to earn some coin from the tent? Well, I mean, I was oh. going to say... Hi! <laughs> I was going to say, Ayla's like, hello! Suddenly. Like a gold a day, or I don't know how it works. Uh, it's really heavy, though. Like, really heavy. Platinum a day? I've only got yeah. seven left. Oh, my God. Silver a day? He's we'll work it out at gold term when I get my money from, from Daddy. Daddy. Yes. Okay. For now, it can be a gold a day until we get there. How about that's that? Very that that's very fair. That's Absolutely. I'll yeah. give you one now. Thank you. There you go. It covers the day. Yes. Well, she probably won't have to count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, Sentry, um, would you be able to carry our one? Yeah, that's not a problem. You know, I can trust you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, now oh, that's settled. I'm uh, going to be on my own, aren't I? You're with Ayla. You're with me. I'm you're just carry carrying too. his. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, just you're carrying, carrying it. Lucius's I'm and George. yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can do But I'm rooming with you. Yes, with, you're rooming with oh, okay. I'm rooming with you. Sweet. And not Lucius. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> Vala, I bought you an outfit. Thank, it thanks. should should be a lot warmer. Thank you so you much. You picked up really the local accent. Yeah. Do I get the hat? Yeah. Yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then she gets her two knives out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look fantastic, Bella. She's looking the part. Thanks. Like a true lowlander. Mm. That's why. Is that okay? You need to say? stop saying so lowlanders. A, right. No, I feel like I, I mean people? I'm used to. How about just you people? Been, and the, this is the bunny woman is like, have you been dealing with this the whole time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Honestly, <laughs> it's a miracle that I'm still here. Wow. Dealing with what? What? Rain? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yep. That's it's it. It's been so, so oppressive. Oh, yeah. It really, it really is. Really? Yep. Dampens sure is. the mood. Lucius has learned a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Quill. Uh, he learned what a cow was pretty recently. Yeah, pretty good. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to ask. We should get down to business uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, so you, you were going to tell me what you knew. Uh, you didn't want to say out in public, but oh. what happened? Can well, we I send mean, Valor to stop? Yeah, Valor like, is sat there and <coughs> seems fine, but she looked, like, are you going to go up to her and be like, time to leave? Yeah, like, you might not want to hear this. Like, she you might, might freak you out a bit. She looks and she's like, look, I can't, if, if I heard that these girls are being kidnapped, the ones that look like me, I can't escape what's happened. I mean, obviously, <clears throat> I, I don't like what happened to Yusuf and Corin, but this is because of me. Whatever it is, I'm a part of it, and so I should be here. Does, uh, <laughs> I mean, does Sana hear that? Yeah, yeah, she okay. does. And she raises her eyebrow, but she doesn't say anything immediately. She's with, like listening. With respect, Sentry, I think Vala should be here. If anything, she knows more than most. Plus she's part of the team. I don't yeah. remember a lot, but I just, I feel like if this is because <clears> of me, then I need to help. Just promise the moment you feel uncomfortable with this, you can leave, okay? I'll be like, no, just like, ah, oh, we, we can go somewhere else if you want. Get some food if, if you want to. And Valor just nods, but she stays sat where she is. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I guess we'll start with what you know, what happened in your situation. Well, it was in Kaylee's Rest, that's where Estelle and her mother live. Uh, mm -hmm. Galen works up in Gold Throne, he spends a lot of his time there. He came back and his wife was hysterical. Um, the girl had been taken from their home. None of the attend none of the servants in the house, none of the kind of workers that uh, Galen employs heard anything about it. Um, she was just simply gone. I did some looking around, and I noticed that there was definitely a use of magic. I found a few components still around the place. Um, something which allowed the group to appear through walls um, and then uh, become invisible. They made their way outside the building, and then they seemed to vanish into a shadowy alleyway. Mm. That was the thing which proved hardest, but then I got a lucky break. A guardsman just happened to catch a couple of shady looking folks leaving the city just outside the walls. Um, they didn't really have horses, they were just on foot. Um, but they said that they had uh, uh, a girl with them. Um, but the girl was awake and just seemed not with it. 
Uh, the guard said that he asked her where they were going. If she knew them, she complied. She said that she did, that you know they were taking her to see her family, but it was something not right. Um, I looked into it, figured that this is probably a use of magic, uh, some sort of way to enchant the girl, get her outside. Um, and then, yeah, we tracked their trail here to Ironwick. Um, okay. It's gone cold ever since. Uh, I haven't found in the surrounding area any sign that they left here, but where they went, I don't know. Um, we arrived about three or four days ago. Hmm. And, uh, I mean, you're investigating this missing girl, but yeah. apparently there's... Do you know how many others? No, I heard a little bit, so... I mean, being a bounty hunter, I'd seen that there were a few similar reports, cases, but... They've been spread out over a few weeks. At first, people just thought that they might be monster attacks. You know, things around here happen. Goblin tribes, mm -hmm. no offense, but wild elves. Um, you know, monster attacks, manticores, wyverns, that sort of thing. People go missing here in the lowlands. You know, it's a thing that happens. But after the third girl with dark hair, all about the same age, people started to realize that something bigger was going on. Uh, that's And yeah, that's all I really know about the others. I just... I mean, Galen hired me to look for Estelle, so... Okay. Um, do you know of a man in... Uh, we saw one... Well, I didn't meet him, but... Uh, a man in black armor, Rose, Thorn. He was apparently... A knight, yeah, well. he came by. He was uh, patrolling the town, uh, the roads. I mentioned to him about the missing girl because I asked him if he'd heard anything or seen anything. Um, he said that he wanted to help, but he had to fulfill his mission first. He had to make sure the, the roads were clear. But then he said he would offer any help he could. But okay. it was only a brief passing as he traveled through the town. I was just wondering if he was hired to look into it at all as well. It um, didn't seem to be. Okay. So who wants to start with our side of things? I could go. I wrote it down. Good. Because I didn't. You don't have to role play it all out. I'll, I'll literally give, give him my the, notebook the notebook and like say. And that basically details the event, like the, yeah, the things that happened to you with the Goliath and um, the Bala being stepping. missing. Yeah. So she looks at it and she's like, I mean, yeah, this seems to follow a similar pattern. The ones that I've been dealing with didn't kill anybody else, though. They seemed a lot more supple was using magic to get them out, um, keeping the girl enchanted so that she did, wasn't running away, that sort of thing. I'm guessing they didn't have a Goliath with them? Didn't think so. I think this was maybe two, three humanoids. So a different group. Yeah. One thing we found out was that um, the Brookstone daughter, their contact was a Lady Vale and was yeah. offering 10,000 gold. Apparently she lives in Gold Throne. Um, but they were meant to meet someone here in Ironwick. Maybe that's they were bringing these girls here. That's as far as I can tell that Estelle was brought here. If, if your girl was brought here too, or she well she was meant to, but fortunately we caught up with them. Maybe maybe this is a meeting point, or there's something else going on. The thing is, is for me the only thing is I know the town are hiding something, something about the lake that they really don't like people talking about. <clears throat> I just can't figure out if they're hiding something malicious or they just don't want their town getting a bad rep. This place is really relying on, on people visiting for the lake. If mm. something's wrong or something's sinister going on, that could really hurt a lot of people here. Okay. So I'm not sure if they're working with these kidnappers or they're just being pains in my ass. Um. Okay. Well, it seems the trail leads here. Your trail went cold yeah. here. Our trail would have led to here if we hadn't stopped them. Yeah. How long have you, you been You said here? this... <coughs> you think that these people were working with the Remnant? You said in your notes that you thought that they might be connected because of the shadow powers. Well, yeah. From magic. The well. magic we've never seen before. And also, well, our airship was attacked by the Remnant. Right. We don't. This is okay. We don't know why they attacked us, but it. Bella was on board that yeah. ship. Yeah. With these guardians, that died. Well, I mean, yeah. Listen, I mean, I'm happy to share what Galen's paying with me if you can help solve this, because it sounds like either more <coughs> girls are going to go missing, or something worse is going to happen to the ones who already have. So, hmm. if well, you're willing, I'm happy to split that payment with you. He's offered me. Uh, 600 gold to find her. I mean, if you're willing to join us in 
assist in our investigation Look, then? I'm a bounty hunter. I'm in it for the pay, but I'm not heartless. I don't like hearing about kids going missing. So, yeah, sure, if you guys can help. But I just don't know the next steps. This town hates me. They think that I'm connected to these thefts, which I don't, I honestly have no idea what's going on. My people, they don't live too far from here, but they wouldn't come and steal from a general store. We don't need to. We've got all the supplies and things we need in the Iron Borough. Well, it sounds like I was talking to the girl at the store, and it sounds like whoever stole stuff stole traveling equipment. She st they stole potions, they stole food, rations. It sounds to me like someone going on a journey. Maybe they're trying to stockpile before they head somewhere else. Gold Thread, maybe. What did we find? Maybe, but the thing is, is if they were going to go to Gold Throne, Callie's Rest is north of here. They would have gone straight to Gold Throne from Callie's Rest. They came to Ironwick for a reason. Mm. To be a contact? Maybe, maybe they know here. that they don't have the right girl yet. Maybe. We should investigate the Green Glow. Mm, well, what, what, that yeah. seems to be the good did place they to say, start. Did they say when the things were stolen? I didn't ask. Um, the way that they've been treating me has been be happening on and off like every couple of days. From what they were saying in the square, it seems to be something that keeps cropping up. Ongoing. Yeah, for sure. What did we find on the Goliath? The, there was a note saying, oh yeah, sorry, that was it. That The note said his contact was Lady Vale and Gold Throne. Okay. And he had the chain. Who took the chain? It's okay. currently attached to Sentry's waist, hold, <laughs> housing the broken echo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. What's our plan? Uh, I mean, we've got a very small inn, but an inn with the uh, Harvest Guard. Harvest Guard? No, no it's the... Not the Harvest Guard, the... Field Warden? Field Warden, that's one. Um, so we could, I mean, they won't talk to Sana, they might talk to us. Possibly? Maybe. We are outsiders, though. She's the one who's the most cagey about the lake. Uh, she's responsible for the town, so... You're going to have a hard time getting anything out of her, I reckon. I reckon we but just... you might be more convincing than me. I'm not great with people. I'm <laughs> better at kicking things in the face. Why don't we see for ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> and you can see she's... How tall is Ayla? I don't actually know. I don't think I've set a height. This, I think this, she's... This bunny lady is like nearly seven feet tall. I think she's, she's almost... almost... And it's like How much is that is here? Like loads of legs. The ears do help quite a lot. She's maybe like six foot something, and the ears just push her to about seven feet. I think she's maybe like 5'11". Okay. So she's, she's like still almost quite, six. She's foot. a bit taller than you, so she kind of looks down on you, and she's like, bam. Um, Mark. Yes. The green... Kim is asking, Mark Hume's a question. Yeah. Just yes. to clarify, the green glow that we saw as a party, yes. is it similar to the glow that Nova keeps seeing in her visions of the star starships? Oh, you know what? Now that you start thinking about it... Oh! There's a starship in the lake! Oh, you start yes. thinking and you have that memory of the green power lines that ran through the shuttle where you found Tian Gong, and they pulsed in a similar way in that dull green glow just begins to remind you of what you saw in the lake. Oh, damn. Nice. Excellent deduction. At I was thinking it before the break, but I was like, how ridiculous would it be if there's a starship in the lake? Yeah, so Nova starts to kind of go like, like uh, maybe not 100% sure, but there's, there's a, something at there. At the edge like, of my thought. Yeah, right? like you're yeah. kind of like that memory. It just evokes the same memory. Okay. At risk of metagaming it, can Tom ask him a question? <laughs> yes. What about? I'll allow it. If it's Tom Nova, ask him. does it remind you about the shuttle thing no, that no, I've no, never no, heard no, of? No, it's, it's about what we found on the Goliath. Okay. Do you remember if we found any, if we found gemstones on the Goliath? No. I literally. Was it literally just. It was literally no a document change. saying, Rend, I need you to get the girl tonight, head to Ironwick and meet the contact BB. And that was when we all went, boo boo! Um, <laughs> and then ran back to Rose. Yeah. 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 And, then, and then specifically, the information about Lady Vell actually came, did come from the Brookstones. Okay. Um, just, but, I, and then it was the chain that Sentry took. I don't remember. Or did we take gemstones? I mean, yeah. Have you got points. gemstones in your inventory? Well, we've spent a lot of money. I'm wondering if we converted like, gemstones into gold and then don't have a record of it. I might, it might the have been. doesn't remember. I'm just, oh God, I'm just, I'm sure I, we found gemstones somewhere that we just converted into gold because that's what they basically And why is that important to Quill's lot way of thinking? Because people might be going like, why is Tom caring about gemstones? 
Quill, okay, fine. Quill because wouldn't because you didn't actually mention the gemstones from the shop being stolen. Yeah. That's what I was questioning. Fine, <laughs> don't worry. There you go. Yeah. That's why I was at risk Medicaid. of metagaming. Oh, you're yeah. trying to connect, Cause, yeah. Because Quill um, wasn't there, that they had. Tom was, because I'm at the table. Um, I was just, yeah, okay, yeah. fine. That's yeah. metagaming, I'm sorry. That's fine. No, that's, it's good. The way you did that was perfect. It's like, can I ask the, oh wait, no, hang on, I wouldn't know about that, that's fine. Cool. So uh, yeah, so it's it's maybe like you arrive midday. You've been here like with the shopping and kind of talking about plans. You've been here like a couple of hours, so it's kind of you know late afternoon. But because it's winter, the sun is beginning to dip already. Um, so <coughs> what's the plan? What do you guys want to do? Mm. You could think, just like, carry on. You can get involved in what's going on here. Um, I think with that little revelation, like Nova's going to keep it to herself for now because she wants to look at the lake again mm -hmm. and just to well, not. You know that it, it started yeah. glowing nighttime. Yeah. Okay. So she's not going to mention what Kim just okay. put together. Is there any kind of any subtle glow that is there in the daytime that is maybe not being picked up as much because it's light? I mean, if you want to go or... outside and make a perception check, you yeah, can I kind of want to have a look at it. Sure. 18? Yeah, you know what? Ayla, you step outside and you're looking out, out the lake and you think it is because the daylight is kind of reflecting off the surface, that people aren't just paying attention. You do think you can just see that faint glow Interesting. there still. Okay. Hmm. Um, I'll report that to the party. I mean, what could possibly you be under there? And what, <laughs> what could possibly be what, No, what I mean is, like, do we know it's definitely the lake where he was headed? Is, are there tracks leading to the lake? Who, if you're asking this in character sense, it's like, I don't think so. They just came to just the outskirts of the town and then and then vanished. And this was how long ago? Uh, four days. Four days ago. What if it's dead? Well, we arrived four days ago. Estelle was taken like two weeks ago. Oh, I see. It so, took me a bit of time to find out what had happened. So in if Kate's we were rest. to look for tracks now, it's... I've tried. Yeah. I've been trying to keep on top of them, looking for them where I can, but... How do we... Do you know, she thinks, like, the only other thing which has been kind of strange is most folks, they go inside at night. They don't really... They go to the bar or whatever. They have drinks, but... I've seen those three girls from the tavern sneaking around at night. I mean, I just figured they're up to teenage stuff, right? But I don't know. Spooky That's the only thing that I can think of. Thieves. We could tell they them. They work in the store. Why would they? Maybe they could they be working. Maybe. 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 Maybe they want to go somewhere Where's else. Three seventeen-year-old girls gonna go. What could they possibly be doing? They could. They could be working with the. You said that the, they were charming the girls to follow them. Are they doing something maybe to control these random teenage girls? Maybe. To keep the town in check. Like, maybe. Keep, there could Seems be eyes strange. I mean, why not go for the field warden? <coughs> Somebody more important. The store owner. That's true. Is, I know. Is, strange. Is the field warden aware of uh, their actions? I tried to bring it up, but she just brushed it off. Like I said, <coughs> teenage girls being teenage girls. She said as long as they weren't getting into trouble, then, you know, causing any trouble. I don't think oh, she's going to be much mm. use. When I was 17, I used to sneak out at night as well. Yeah, me too. I'd go to the library. I would not. <laughs> You're such a girl. I went, I went and made out with other girls, so. In 14 years, when I'm 17, I'll probably be dead already. Wow. I would Way to bring the tone down, Birdman. <laughs> oh. <sorry. laughs> I've got another 100 years. All good. Mm. Cool. I'm gonna watch you all die. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> well, probably not the wild elf. She'll probably. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yes. Actually, no. You you strike me as the die in battle kind of girl. That's the way I would prefer to go. Yeah. Yep. Well. Anyway, I'm gonna get some food. Thanks for the talk. You've given me a lot to think of. It sounds like the main thing is something's going on. We need to get to the bottom of it. Um, we need to get yeah. to the bottom of that lake. You think Why? so? You think something's down there? Yes. Why are your eyes going all weird? I'm going to hold out Tiangong. Nice knife. Yeah. Have you guys seen Tiangong when it glows? Sure. I guess we have him. In battle, yeah. yes. Tiangong does glow slightly differently. Okay. When he's when he's wielded by you, he glows more blue, starry kind of color. Mm -hmm. It was only it was the ship that had this green glow, okay. um, and he was like in some sort of central chamber, like suspended. I think I might know what it is, but yeah. I need to see the lights tonight to be sure. You can kind of see it really faintly. Just my, uh, I'll look out where Ayla looked out. 
I, I need to see it in the dark. I need, I think it might be, it might be a ship. Well, I what? Did, already, a what? Sorry, hang on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a ship. Um, a remnant ship. Uh, like one of the ones from 500 years ago? Yeah, they're still scattered around the, the world. Um, but if this is uh, only a what? recent thing, so if you know what? That means that one is <sighs> active. How's it That's going? slightly terrifying. That's See, so don't dangerous. open portals. Don't mess with the shit up but, there. But with respect, if I hadn't, I wouldn't know what it is. Well, at least I think I know what it is. Brownie okay. points for that. So, but Arian, this is weird. Pretty freaked out by this. Are you okay? Uh, um, I mean, I've I've seen it. I've. S- I mean, yeah, you saw those ships. Like you would have. Help fight against them. Like it's ex- it's extremely dangerous that we could even fathom going near that place. Yeah. Mm. It's they tore the world apart, mm. and they're still here. Uh, okay, something freaking sentry out this much. See, is apparently only recently, um, it's the lights have started appearing. So yes, yeah, so that's what it it must still be active. Well, or, no, it's, I mean, or it's active, just woken but... up like I have. Oh, maybe. And it's uh, been inactive for as long as I have. Something must have. Something might have woken it up. All right, this is sounding way more serious than I, than I guess I can really comprehend. So you're saying that there's a, a remnant court of shadows starbane ship beneath the lake. Maybe. Maybe. I've been on one before, but it was a wreckage. It's where I found Tiangong. I mean, if these people are working for the remnant, maybe they're using it as some kind of base or something? Or yeah, maybe it, they found a way to activate it and just inside. It use could it. Be and why her, are they taking these girls? Because they want Vala. Vala... She's got some powers. Vala's just like, sat there like, I don't know. She's got powers. Yeah, but I'm just a sorcerer like you, Lucius. I, I'm not special. The spells you cast at your age, that's something a master, not even a master, could do. Sentry, would you remember this glow if you saw it again? So I think for Sentry, you mainly saw these ships from the outside. Like you would have done things like they would have attacked <coughs> Solvin and you would have been like manning sort of like cannons to shoot them down or like fighting their troops in the, sh- in the streets. Yeah. But you remember seeing these, they're long dark crystal and they have these green lines of power that run all throughout the ship. Like you, they almost form like patterns throughout it. And that image you can recall 100%. Okay. And if you saw one of these ships, you'd, you would know you would recognize but it. But what about the glow itself? The difference is, is like, Nova saw it in the dark, fully up close. You saw it in the sky, shooting down. So okay. maybe, but yeah. You definitely would be familiar. Okay, well how about this for a plan? One, I know you said the Field Warden may be useless, but we could at least give it a try. We're five, sure. Six, seven, ten different people. Why um, let her know our intentions, though? Uh, well, I mean... If this town... We, we don't, she doesn't need to know we're investigating the lake. She just... She hasn't done anything with, with, with Sana, knowing that she's investigating the missing women. Girls. Maybe if um, we say that we're going to help her, she'll actually appreciate that. But if they're being paid off by this Lady Vale or whoever is they could get taking the jump these on girls... Us. Yes. At yeah. the very least, we could find out. How? Are okay. you going to just go up to her and ask her, hey, are you being paid by this woman to work with the Court of Shadows and steal girls? Instantly, is that what is in the lake? Can we go there? <laughs> I mean, Hi, no, let us in. We won't do that, but it, it, it can't hurt. And the second part of the plan <laughs> is that we go to the uh, bar that's overlooking the lake. Maybe they've seen something. Yes, you can use your spur. Oh. Sorry? I thought your spyglass. Oh. I need to get a new one. I really like that one, though. Well, if you want to go back to the mansion and get it. Is that an option? No. The, the thing <laughs> is, is your spyglass, it was like a short one. It's kind of designed for Arakroak. We're trying to find one down in the lowlands. They'll be expensive as hell. Yeah, I really like that one. Um, OK, so what's the plan? Give me a plan. Give me a rundown of what you guys want to do. Could we go on a fishing trip to the lake? Sure. Yeah, there's boats to hire. But they, oh, don't, yeah. generally, <laughs> they generally don't let boats go out at night, though. Mm. That doesn't mean to say you can't do it. They Steal just... a boat. Steal yeah, a boat. My <laughs> reputation will go down, though, Mark. Come on. 
<laughs> we, we need to be... We need to stop playing on my Red head. Dead. Um, we we need to be <laughs> extremely careful here. If someone like Sentry, who was built to fight these things, is terrified of coming across one again, um, we need to be seriously cautious. Well, yes, but... Uh, we can't just row a boat out close to it. There's a potential that... Um, Using a boat isn't the way they get down to this ship. It's at the bottom of the lake. They um, jump through it's shadows. Deep, it's a deep lake, by um, the way. They jump through shadows. Um, you can breathe. What? I'm a, I'm a water ganassi. I don't You're an need, air ganassi. I'm an air ganassi. <laughs> I look like a, I'm an air ganassi. I don't have to breathe underwater. I mean, that's all... Yeah, but that means you're going, you going down there that's on your fine. own. I can just check and confirm what's down there. But the people, yeah, that, but what I'm saying is the people that went, if, if there is a ship down there and if that's where they're taking the people, they're not their Ganassis. There must be a way to get down there. Shadow people. jumping. But I at least can confirm that there is something down there. True. Just for your benefit, Rihanna, as well, you, Sentry doesn't need to breathe. Yeah. So you could walk under there as well. I feel like <laughs> but I know she could just yeah. step off the boat and she'd just sink. Yeah. <laughs> um, go on. But if something happens to you down there while you're verifying, we can't breathe down there to help. I mean, at, at the least I can go down with you and verify it. But I, I must warn you, if it is what it is, then we're in trouble. Yeah, these were battleships. Like, you found a shuttle. You mm. found a small skiff. Centuries, memories of these things, these are battleships. Not only do they house troops... And things like the Stalker, the creature you fought on the airship, they have weapons. They have energy weapons that can shoot down and destroy stuff as well. These oh, yeah. are powerful things. Okay. Um, if, if an, I like what you say. There, there might be a way that's not underwater to get to this thing. Yeah. Well, let's go for a nice little row on the lake during the day. That's yeah, what they expect have a little... us to do. Santa looks when Ayla says that way. You're right, if there is something under there, there's got to be a way to get down there. So, and that means that somebody in the town... That's what he's been saying. I know, that's what... <laughs> I'm talking about the two of you. Okay. <laughs> that means that there's got to be something above... It must be here in the town, right? Well, which well, means well, maybe. somebody's got to know about something. What if that... We saw the... The little tiefling girl. Well, we who's saw... been running about at night. We saw people jump through through. shadows and teleport to another place. They can just teleport into the ship. But I mean, how far can they go? From what I gathered, they can't go any distance they want. They can only teleport um, a short distance. When we were following trails in Rose Hall, that is a deep lake. Mm. Yeah, when we were following trails in Rose Hall, it was only meters at a time. Not that that thing is real deep. Um, Mm. What about that drunk blacksmith? The drunk? He's just well. If he's Missy, not working, what's going on in his shop? Missy, what's her face? Uh, Steel Eye told us to stay away from him. Because he's did. drunk. Yeah, but maybe that's a. Uh, but she also said maybe he's been getting more than drunk, more drunk recently. I know I've made this mistake before, but we can't just assume that Missy Steely Eye is working against us. I just good to assume right. the worst, though, right? I'm just saying we. <laughs> I do that we, all the time. We trusted Brett Brookstone, and look what happened. That's what I was referencing. Yeah, <laughs> just pointing, pointing to the socket. Yeah, <laughs> it's covered now. <laughs> um, true. Let's. I think it's we can't ignore every possibility. Well, we can't, but I mean, we need a solid plan here. Okay. Let's check out near the. Let's verify the near boat. The lake. Verify that area. All if right. there's no tunnels, if we can't find anything around there, maybe it's in the town. Maybe we try the blacksmith. Maybe I think a tunnel try... would be extremely obvious, especially when there's so many people wandering around a lake. Yeah. Maybe it's hiding in plain sight. That's Just big. pretend it's, we're tourists. It's also maybe it's very deep. Of course. <laughs> um, it's remarkably deep. Yeah. Not many non-air breathing people can swim down there. All right. It's a start. Well, the other thing is, I mean, we've been sleeping on the road. Y'all could need a good rest at some point. Um, I have no secure rooms. I don't think I'm going to be too much of a use interrogating folks, but if you can give me some coin, I can go secure a lodge. For what a, is it, like a... I mean, I imagine a whole lodge like this. I'll, I'll go ask Galen. He paid for this one. I'll go ask him how much it was. Okay. Um, Sana, do you know where the last trail you saw was in this town? Yeah, it was... Um, we came in from the north, from, from Callie's Rest. We came in, it, it's just a little ways off the road. There's uh, 
small copse of trees. It just vanished there. Um, it's not far. It's just behind uh, the acorn and bale. We uh, got to. Okay. Well, we could. Which is the shop, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the inn and the the shop. That shop's there's something about that shop. And the shop is where the three. I not been there because I can't work. go there. Yeah. But as far as I can tell, those three are orphans. They um, they've got like a little place of their own, and they just work in the shop there. I mean, it's also great customer service. Good. Yeah, they've Good. always struck me as just three country girls, you know. But if that's where the trail went cold. I guess that's the, yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, I've, I've tried more. to look around the building, but I couldn't find anything. Mm. So I guess. You can see magic things sometimes. I can. Maybe. That sounds like a pretty useful skill to know. Maybe, is that, is that if there's rare? anything around there. <laughs> it's not rare, but I can do it. I too. can do it. Oh, me too. Oh, okay. Then no, it's not. No, really right. can do it now. My no, former should. bounty hunting I I normally can't. involves. <laughs> I do it. Hey, this guy just broke out of jail, or this guy owes somebody some money. Go and get him, and then I go and beat him up until he's unconscious. That's the and fun then part. I drag him back to where I need to. So you're saying this uh, big warship underneath a lake that glows at night, loads of people going missing. It's a little bit out of my remit. Mm. A little bit out of my comfort zone. Okay. But if that's where this girl is, then that's where I gotta go. Well, in that case, I could spend 10 minutes, cast a spell, have a look around there. All right. All right, all right, all right. Good start. All right. All right, all right. Cool. All right. So, is that where you're going? You're gonna go check out the shop? I think so. And yeah. then so. check out the boat? If you wanna try yeah, and get like a around night time, the boat you steal a boat and go out on the lake? I think we're gonna rent one in the no, day, right? No, we're it's gonna. It's day, right? Uh, it's know. late afternoon, yeah. so it's like four o'clock and the sun is already beginning to... We're maybe going to go inquire about renting a boat the following day. Okay. Oh, uh, Sana, um, you said that uh, most of the people here um, go to bed at night or go into I mean, they just don't... It's not exactly a big nightlife kind of town, you know what I'm saying? No, sure, but uh, is it... Are you not allowed to, or...? No, no, you can do what you want. It's, it's not like there's guards at every corner telling you not to do something, but it's just, you know, most folks just go home and eat food and... Fair enough. Keep themselves to themselves around here. Well, I guess then we can start looking around at night as well. And if we need to take a boat, then we'll leave some money on the shore, and then we'll... Let's the just boat. do it in the daytime. Well, I'm just saying, if we wanted to look around at night, we can. Yes? Which is worth knowing. So, first step, where are you going? Uh, we are going to the... The store. Store, the last point of the... Tra the who's, tra going, who's going to there? Uh, All of you? I am, at the very least. A quill? Yeah, you need to detect magic. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone wants I'll a go. quill? I'll go I want to go to the lake. Okay, so lake. Wait. I'll go inquire about a boat. Yeah. So, so those two are lake. About boat. I'll Three go of you go store. Quill. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Cool. Um, I guess... Santa knows that she's not going to get anything out of the store, so she'll go with you. Um, and Valor will go, go with, with you guys to the store. Or with Arvel to the... Oh yeah, or she can just get the room. She wants to do something, so mm. if you tell her not to, she will go with Arvel. But otherwise, she's like drifting towards Ayla and Sentry and Quill. Like I'm, I'm going with them. Uh, Valor. Yeah. How about you? Uh, while we're just gathering everything together, getting the boat. Uh huh. Uh, you go have a rest in the. I'm not feeling very tired. I feel okay. I think Valor needs to be with people. I think she needs to be with people. I'm gonna she force can't... a yawn and see if she yawns. Yeah. Roll a contagion check. She's a teenager. She's not tired at four o'clock. She's not a toddler. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Maybe make sure you keep your hair tucked up in your hat. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Actually, she, like ties it back and like tucks it all in and puts it on. Yes, yes. It wouldn't hurt for her to see the lake anyway. Okay. She's coming with us. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. To the shop. She's, she's coming with us. She's coming with you. It wouldn't hurt for her to come with us to yeah. the shop yes. anyway. <laughs> Keep her away from the lake. Where yes. it goes, it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Protect Quill, would you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's trying. I'm... He's a soft. While I'm... you're doing your ritual. Oh, yeah, I need all the help I can get. Okay. <laughs> Santa just folds her arms. Is like, well, all right. Well, let's get going to the lake, and then you guys go check out the store. Just like you're not doing anything suspect. So, okay. You make your way. Um, it doesn't take you long, so it's about half four. Uh, those of you going to secure a boat or look at the lake and things like that, you the wharf, um, there is a selection, there's like a small little wharf and there are a selection of, they're not rowboats, more like little sailboats, kind of like, you know, single sail can sit maybe like four or five people, little kind of like steering. And sat 
just carve in a piece of wood, big pipe in her mouth, is this old crotchety looking lady, kind of like wiry sailor's muscles, um, kind of knitted big like jumper. And she's just like, <coughs> Howdy. Hi. Hey. We'd like to rent a boat, please, to go, go uh, on the lake. You, you want to go now? You know we don't let folks out on the lake at night. Tomorrow morning. You can do that. Come by Wait. tomorrow. We'd like to go. So it's us three, right? Yeah. We'd like to and go. Sam. We'd like to go on the lake tonight, if that's okay. Oh, um, girl. I heard it's quite romantic. She eyes you, Lucius, the Guardian, <laughs> and She's not here. Santa. You're not. You're I'm, with us, I'm right? With, I'm with. She went with them. Oh, okay. I thought you said. Yeah. There so are... there's four of you, one high elf dude, an egg and I see a robot lady, and a seven foot bunny woman, and it just narrows her eyes. I'm a, you know, it's not my decision, it's the field marshal. You know, there's the shadow eels, they'll come out at night. You don't want to be out on the lake when the shadow eels come out. That's there. not very romantic at all. I don't want to get. Are they electric? No, that's <laughs> big old beast. They're, there's, uh, they're long and strong. You know, you're not careful. You go near the lake at night, they'll jump up and grab you and drag you down. Well, that's, that's why we're here. They're our chaperones. Yeah. We just want to look after the lovebirds. Deception check. <laughs> <laughs> the what? <laughs> <laughs> Are we the only ones like four? Uh, we've got <laughs> four. Oh, no. Oh, great. You can give me one as well. Like, yeah. yeah, sure. Ooh, 22. See, so my eyes it, and I'm like, oh, awful <coughs> strange company. And she kind of looks, she's just like, well, if you really want to, I'll let you, I'll let you take a boat out, but you got to pay up front, <laughs> plus hair deposit. And if you die, it ain't on me. <laughs> Gosh, she's really filling me with that that romance. I don't care about your <coughs> romance, boy. I care about my boat. My livelihood. Well. How much would you like? Hundred gold. That's a lot of uh... <laughs> Even by Lucia's standards. For love? Yeah. You know what I think of love? I've had three husbands. One died, one cheated. We don't talk about the other one. <laughs> <laughs> you with the shadow eels. Yeah. <laughs> she just looks and says, listen, you get my boat destroyed by shadow eels, that's, a, that's some gold I gotta pay. I get in trouble with the field marshal, that's some gold I gotta pay. 100 gold, you can take the boat out. How much is it during the day? 20 gold. <laughs> oh, wow. I have to go in the pot. You get you ten gold back during the day. Team huddle. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go in the day. I didn't think you were gonna what try is... and go out now. <laughs> Just you know, you gotta try. <laughs> Worth a try. You don't ask, you don't get. Ah, <laughs> uh, should we just stick with the day plan? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. we don't need to go now. Okay. We'll come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. If your love stays that strong. <laughs> love can be a fickle thing. <laughs> just blows a big cloud of smoke out from her mouth. Just narrows her eyes. So those of you going to the store. <laughs> what a character. The same thing. I love her. As it's getting later in the evening, you can see the terrace bar begin to fill up with some of the residents mm -hmm. who definitely are just like narrowed eyes watching you guys as you kind of make your way in. We're walking around with a smile. She's delightful. You go in. And um, you can see the <laughs> blonde dwarf from before is snoozing. He's just sat in his chair sleeping. He's got like a cup of tea and he's just like <sighs> snoozing away. Um, when you come in, the human girl and the tiefling girl are there and they just are kind of like, oh, and they hear the bell. Hey there, strangers. Hello. Um, we're looking to buy something. Now, were you friends with the folks that came in before we saw you out in the square? Oh, have they already been here? Yep. They bought like bedrolls and tents and clothes. 
Oh, they forgot. They forgot where we were looking for. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're travelers, uh, yeah. and we tend to run into monsters and things like that. So right. they must have. Did, did they pick up any weaponry for us, or? No, 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 well, no weapons, boy. No, we don't have a lot of weapons here, Mr. Bird. Uh, we got like some hunting traps and arrows and, and uh, you know, things like that, but they don't make a lot of, you know, it's just a general store more than anything. Hmm, okay. Um, uh... How about rations? You got rations? Yeah, yeah, we got things like trail rations, that's some things, things like those. that. They didn't get those, though. Yeah, uh, sure. Do you have a big back room full of stock? I mean, yeah, we got stock at the back, sure. Okay. <laughs> you want me to go? <laughs> it's like there's plenty of rations out. I mean, how much do you need? We're just going to browse if that's okay. Can I have a look at the weapons that you have? I like weapons. She like, she's like, I mean, sure. It's. Not, I wouldn't really say we got weapons, but we got a couple of bows and we got some arrows and Show some me. long knives. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she, the human girl leads you over to like one side and you can see there's like, you know, strung up bows kind of hanging on the walls, quivers, arrows, a couple of long knives, like hunting gear. The tiefling girl is just like looking at you with these big black pupilless eyes, curved horns, like red skin, fang teeth. And she's like, howdy Birdman. Hey. <laughs> Aracocra. Uh, but anyway. Ara what's that again? Aracocra. 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 <laughs> Aracocra. That's the one. Nice. Um, i never met me a bird man before. Aracocra. <laughs> Do you fly? Uh, yeah. That's a sore subject I wouldn't bring up. Quite sore, actually. I, I have one wing. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> when did that happen? Uh, a while Did back. it hurt? Yes. A lot. Oh, that's a shame. Good with small talk. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, if I was to start like ritualing this thing. Yeah. It's like it's, obvious. You're like. Like casting a spell. I thought dude. you were gonna ritual beforehand at the very Yeah, I like, really thought you were gonna do that. I thought it might have been walk. like more than ten minutes of walk. I mean, you could do it outside. Like, you could just yeah. like go around the corner and be like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> I'll go do that then. <laughs> so you just leave. Mid conversation. <laughs> I think rather than having you leave, Valor, who is with you, will kind of be like, um, um, and like she comes in to talk to the tiefling girl, and it's like, what's your name? And she's like, oh, my <coughs> name's Zenny. What's your name? And does like it's two girls like having a conversation, right? Okay. Like Valor probably is like. Are there any boys you like? <laughs> <laughs> and like, then this Zanny's like, oh yeah, I like blah blah blah, I see him, I sat on the farm, he's real okay. nice, blah blah. And like, like Valor is like desperately just trying to keep the attention away. I'm just looking at all the bows, looking at Quill like, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. So um, you can like go stand in a corner and be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Do you have any <laughs> magical weapons? Nope. Do you see them often? Nope. Don't Good get check. nothing like that here. Anyway, so these are our skin and knives. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This one's a buck handle. And this goes through. So you finish casting the ritual and... Turn around, my eyes purple. <laughs> yeah, sure. <Whoa. laughs> what do I see? <laughs> so what you see is a couple of sources of magic. Ooh. Ones that aren't the ones you already expect. Uh. So you see Valor. There's a slight glow from a sorcerer's power. Uh -huh. You see the Howling Gale. A slight glow from its magical enchantments. The cup of tea that the dwarf has been drinking has a slight magical glow. <gasps> oh. Mm -hmm. There's a glow. Both of the girls are wearing an amulet. <gasps> something underneath <gasps> this, underneath their outfits. Uh-huh. Strange symbol. Not one you're necessarily familiar with. It's um you can see it's a pair of crossed blades with a star in the middle. Mm. Um, and then there is something, because it's, what's the range on it? Like 60 feet? Uh, yeah. it's, yeah, it's far. Yeah. Far. I mean, I can see... Range far. It's like 100 and... Out in the stock. Oh, it's 30, 30 feet, so and I can just, see through... You can yeah. see through things. So just beyond in the back room, on the floor, is a magical sigil. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end today's episode. Oh! Oh! We got some knowledge. Oh! 
<gasps> Gotta learn. I to knew those little shits were something. <laughs> there was something. <laughs> they're just too plumb nice. You just never, never doubt. I just thought they were being nice like salespeople. Yeah. Well, thanks that's, for watching. That's the cover. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Holy crap. You might need to get the reader up because I think they have problems with it. Yeah. Ah. Really? It up. yeah, let's read some donations. Yeah. Read some donations. She's some watching. donations. Man, getting all the American accent practice at the yeah. minute. Yeah, I feel like nice. we're going to be sorely disappointed when we leave Savona. <laughs> and everybody just sounds not yeah. Texan. I know how much you love doing that. Well, the thing is, is, Gold Throne is more um, standard American, like Californian. And it's really okay. only sort of like the rural areas that have the, the southern. Is Further east, we get more like... The further east is you get more east coast US. Oh. So they sound like, they're from New York! Hey, hey what are you doing, forget huh? Forget about it. They're gonna do like this. Just keep walking. Hey, keep welcome walking. to Redport, a place that I don't know about yet. Oh, that's west. Oh yeah. And that's that's a different country, almost. My bad. The reader's broke. Reader's broke? We're trying to figure it out on iPad, Steve. No, the, the reader's broken. The reader's broken. I, oh, I looked at it. On my end, there's nothing there. There's nothing oh. there. Empty. Okay. okay. Thanks, Thank Steve. You. We're gonna try and alter. we're gonna try and read them because we try and read donations out every time. Mm, yes. Mm, but yeah. Mm, yes. So there you go. You've uncovered a little bit of what's going on here. Ooh. Right? Ooh. Ooh bit. Man. Spooky going. Yeah. Oh. Spooky. You, jumped, you jumped on those girls like hard. Like mm, something's going on in this store. And the ship. Yeah. The ship. That was very. That was very good. That I was guess. a real sort of like. I was thinking about it before the break, but I was like, I don't know. I when it, when um, I was coming up with the algae and all that, I was like, or it could be. <laughs> yeah. I think it was mainly in terms of like jumping on those girls in particular. I think it was like. It was the running around town. We at night. were following the only lead, and that was yeah. they're running around at night time. And then the yeah. trail ended there. So it was kind of like. Those meddling kids! Let's look at that place then. Um, Don't trust orphans. Nope. Yeah. Wait. It doesn't look like Steve. Oh. Steve's able. Oh, oh, there we oh, go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's done it. Uh, okay, so this okay. will be in reverse really order, I think. In yeah. reverse yeah. order. So, Kim, just try and route through them or try okay. somebody. So, uh, these mess the uh, donations are in reverse order, so, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you to Azul Aura. There was one dad here tonight, and of the 34 people who bet, Fred Head Bed got it right. Nice. Also, I played with a new group yesterday, the highlight being the newbie player who got natural 20 all, got one natural 20 all evening when being asked to direct quote, roll for Batman. <laughs> it's a good roll to get an extra cool. 20 on. Nice. Uh, thank you, you to Batman. Trooperella who oh, donated a half hundo. Hi guys, first time watching live, usually enjoying your pod podcast or catching up on the first uh, first campaign. Crit roll made me want to play D&D, but you inspired me to try and be a DM. Aww. Next week will be my premiere. Wish me luck, love from Berlin. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, thank you to Ace of Thorns, an evening's fashion shopping, a bunny woman, a UFO in the lake, the plot bewilders, but we love it. Hugs. Uh, and thank you to Varys for the donation, but no message. Thank you to Dancing on Fire. Happy birthday, Katie! Thank you. I'm drinking out of the, my High Rollers mug right now, as is my Sunday tradition. Cheers. Hi. Oh, yeah. um, thank you as well to Nightjar. Happy not yet, but almost birthday, Katie! <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you to Dancing on Fire for another uh, donation as well, but no message. Uh, thank you to Nautilix1. Love the extra world building this episode. Mark, is the look of the Beast Walkers in any way inspired by the Druin from the Bloody Rose in Kings of the Wild? No, but when I read those books, I was like, holy fucking shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't. It was, it's like, I fucking love like animal races like Shifters from Eberron, and it's just my extension of that. Damn. Thank you to Zephyr1. Uh, I prefer to think of Quill's wake up call more as like a rooster. Just waking up in the early hours of the morning to furiously scream at nothing in particular. <laughs> Thank you to the like, stream house. Oh, fucking nightingale. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's 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 be it. I can read. Uh, I can read it. Metamanu, hi guys. Friday stream was great. Spectacular. It looks like a fun system. It's hilarious stream. I hope to see more in the future. Keep it up. Thank you, Metamanu. Nice. Uh, another group idea. This is from Frank the NPC. Another group idea because you guys spent a week in town and did not buy bed rolls. The no ro bed roll buddies. Well, it's we not got the most bed heroic bed. name, is it? The no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, everyone put the bed, bed roll down now. Oh, yeah, we've got some now. Dark Day 41, Iron Sloths, Ghost Boats, Lack of Noodles, Arg, it's another spooky episode. 10 out of 10, though. Hey, spooky. Uh, thanks, uh, I need my flame decals to go faster, Stripes. <laughs> Frank the NPC donated the best group name, the best group name has finally emerged, the Iron Sloths. Oh, and that is oh. either or Broken Sky. The Iron Sloths. Also, uh, <laughs> 
Oh, ran, ran from, from the house. house. So sad. Yeah, that's fine. But they would have been smart. We would have died. Let Borges, half hundo. Thank you very wow. much. Thank you very much. Night Jar, thank you for the donation and message. Friend the NPC again. Hey guys, had to pod squad last week. Damn, that episode was intense. Looking forward to some more high quality D and D action. Thank you. Uh, Nefkla, wearing poppies today was a lovely touch. Thank you. Wow, that's literally the least we can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bay, thank you very much for the donation and message. And Freak that's, Mark, that's going into Xylus, I think. Is today. it? Yeah. Uh, 4 no, p.m. Yeah. And then, 4 yeah. p.m. Yep. Yeah, so we're yep. at that's us. Wonderful. Do you get EXP for picking up quests? Oh yeah. Do we get any? XP? Please, Mark. We need I mean... eighty. I mean... The spaceship's oh. worth some Come XP. Come on, that was a clutch play. We went to the Iron. Uh, we rolled. We went inside to the tomb today, for the first time. So. You did. You when you got to Iron Wicks. We that's diffused the situation. Well done. Met a dude on the road. Did some deception. That picked up a load, we picked up a load of quests. Should. I wrote I a to-do list. Tom had XP for writing a to-do list. I will list. say, you also discovered the girls were more than what they seemed. Is it? So is it? Thing, that and Quill have ATSD and no one else. Go boil your head. So there's... <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Just your head. Exactly. We need eighty XP, guys, to level up. Um, it's going to be 79 or some shit. I'm not going to give you too much. Let's see, that's going to be... Mm -hmm. I'm working this out based on the way that I work out experience, yeah. location, being fair. plus you uncovered important information. I feel yeah. like he's explaining a lot to let us down easy. Which would be 600 XP total, which divides down into 120 XP. <gasps> <gasps> oh, we did! So you guys level up and we'll go over that next episode. 120 now, XP! Stream to end and pass it over to Kat. Woo! Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Bye, everybody. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 120. And that yeah. is literally based on my formula.